All right. Sorry, my nose was. I, I had to. <laughs> my nose was digging a, a tear. Hi, Flex. Look at him, Flex. How you doing? How are you, Flex? Step on up to this. Okay. All right. So, okay. I had to pull that out a little bit. Ooh, yeah. I call this my cheering thing. Tiny little beast. Thank you, Flex. Bundle, baby. Can we take a big? Thank you, Flex, for the thousand bitties. Oh, my God, friend. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hi, Danny. Hi, how's everybody? Not fix it, Jesus. Fix what? What happened? Um. All right. So, what we're doing is, like I said, we're making, we're doing some community tours. But first, let's like, let's make some like easy CC, right? Um. So, let me see. Your edition too, child. Listen, I don't know what that was. Must mean something coming to us. Somebody talking about us. <laughs> um, all right, but we're gonna be doing community tours here in a second. So it doesn't really matter what you want toward. It just uh, just put it on the gallery under the hashtag Scotty Adi Adi, and we will uh, we'll get to it. So hello, Yasmin. Hi. Now, if you, if you're in the Discord, I kind of posted, I know you guys said you wanted the wall lights, so I did post two of them in there, and I have pretty much remade all of them. There's one more I want to redo. There's just one more I want to redo. So we're going to do that, and I'm just kind of going to show you guys how to make like a very simple wall light in The Sims. So... Um, what scene did I set for this? I can't remember. Hi, Sasha. We're making some CC, friend. We're making some CC. So, um, okay. So that's that's origin. All right. So basically, here's how. Uh, we in school tonight. We're in school tonight. All right. So, what you want to start with is let's do it the right way. Let me show you. Okay. So let's open Sims 4 Studio. What you're going to need is Sims 4 Studio, at least Blender 2.79, and, and a photo editing software. So whether you use GIMP, whether you use Photoshop, you can use any one. So um, I'm going to leave my video off of this just because I don't want to block any part of the screen that might be vital or important. So. For the time being, I'm not going to have my camera. But, all right. Here's what we want to do, right? So, you got your Sims 4 Studio open. And you want to come over to Object. You want to hit Object. And this is going to create your actual package, right? So, you're basically going to take a mesh, replace that mesh, and this will be your project. So... To make a wall light, to make like something that you want to go on your wall and glow, um, my suggestion is to do this, okay? Take this, and you see, it'll tell you up here where, what pack it came with. Um, when people make CC and they call it base game compatible, it means they use a mesh that is from the base game. So use a base game object to create your CC it will be base game compatible. Because if I use this, you will have to have seasons. If I use this, you will have to have get famous, right? That's what those little signs in the corner say. You would have to have spa day for these. You get to work. Uh, the free little holiday pack. And, you know, that's not bad to create something on because it's, it's a free pack. But, you know, in case people don't have expansion packs and you want them to have the CC, 
use something base game compatible. So we're going to hit next. We're going to select our mesh. We're going to hit next. Um, usually what a lot of tutorials will tell you to do is save this in your mods folder. That's solid advice. It truly is. I put it in a folder of mine, but put it in your mods folder. I don't really particularly do that sometimes in case it doesn't work and I need to put it back in this folder and take it back into since we're a studio and fix it. So, but put it in a folder. You're going to be able to find it. This is your actual package. This is the actual CC. So you need to name this what you want the CC to be called. So this is called, what are we making? I'm remaking the peach wall light. And so I'm just going to call it peach too. They are sheepy. Oh my goodness. Hi. Welcome in. Hello. 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 I turned my light off. Because I didn't have my camera on. It was in my face. They are sheepy with the raid. Hello. Hello. Hey, gang with Kyler. Uh, five minutes in and already some gems. <laughs> Not some gems. <laughs> uh, hey, sheepy. How are you, friend? Welcome on in. Uh, you were playing Dead by Daylight. How was the Dead by Daylight? But gang with Kyler, thank you for the follow. Sheepy. How are you? Come on in, children. Let's get, we're making CC today. We're doing a little CC tutorial. I was at a job, I was, I was, I had a job at one point. Some guy called a tutorial, a tutorial, and that is the only way I like to say it now. I'm great, we're having fun being loud and playing Dead by Daylight. Yes, absolutely. So we're gonna be doing community tours a little bit later. So if you guys wanna get in on that, um, upload what you would like me to tour to the uh, hashtag on the gallery, Scotty Yadi Yadi, right there at the top of, uh, my big old head, <laughs> S-C-O-T-T-Y, O-T-T-Y, O-T-T-Y. Uh, let's, and we'll be getting into those in a little bit, but we're doing some cute little, uh, we're going to be making a little CC today. That's it. Just a little light, just a little light. And, um, I made all, I made 10 wall signs for the Not So Berry Challenge. We will, is that the icon? Is it good girl? Raw? Hello, dog. Welcome on in. Um, and so I'll be releasing those this stream. Absolutely. Hold on. Um, I had some fluff in my fuzz. But, um, but how is everybody today? Thank you for the raid. Thank you for sharing your community with me. Hi, uh, all the, all you sheepikins. <laughs> um, all the sheep who come in. Hi, I would like to say my name is Scotty. And we play The Sims here mostly. We usually do play a lot of The Sims 4. Um, so we're doing a little bit of a, uh, a little nice tutorial. Chatty! Uh, hey, a whole one. Two to three minutes. Oh. Um, okay. Listen, a whole one, three squared. That makes sense. No, it didn't. But hi, Chatty. Thank you for 13 months. We've got a whole child. That kid walks, talks, and eats. Um, so we call ourselves the Farmily. Oh, hi, Farmily. Well, thank you for sharing your Farmily with me. Um, happy you're feeling better. Yeah, I had the worst headache yesterday, so I just kind of slept. <laughs> like, I just really had, like, the absolute worst headache. It's my... Okay, I had to make sure my window was open because it was hot in here. All right, um, but absolutely. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Channy. How you doing? Okay, so... Let me go ahead and let's get back into it, okay? Nope. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so, like I was saying, Sims 4 Studio, you want to pick your wall light. You want to choose a base game one. And then you want to name your package, right? You want to name your package. Hello, Yasmin. How you doing? And so, you want to save your package. Let's go ahead and save. Um, it's going to save as a Sims 4 package. It's going to open up the this part here. Now, this is what your wall light looks like. You can move it around. You can kind of, you know, look at the back of it. All right. So, if you don't know anything about making CC, right, this is Sims 4 Studio. Um, and so, you got your catalog. You can change this. I'm just going to peach wall light we're just making a simple wall light that's going to say peach because i made one for my peach gym not so berry i don't like it we're redoing it um and release you know change this and then i always make them like worth five dollars i don't want them to be a lot so they're five small you can change the price 
Um, I'm only really going to do one swatch, so I'm going to get rid of these. Um, and then this is your texture. Let me get rid of those. We The texture is basically coloring the mesh, okay? But what, we're not going to worry about texture right now. Texture is almost the easy part. So, let's come over here to meshes. This is what you do first, okay? This is the mesh. I already have this mesh <laughs> several times over in my folder. What you want to do is, see, so you got your LODs, your levels of detail. This is important. We'll get to this, but you have several levels of detail and then shallow LODs. When you see, when you download CC and somebody's like, it's got all its LODs, good. It should. Because basically your levels of detail are from what distance you can see it from. If you only have zero, that means you have to be close up on it to see it. When you zoom out, it will resume its original mesh. So, you don't want that. I got you, Yasmin. Thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and export this mesh. And I have a specific file. Make sure you put this in a file that you have for Blender Rigs, right? So I have a file that's actually for Blender Rigs. Um, and then let's go ahead and name it. It's going to be Outside Wall Light. Sure, let's just name it that so you can know what to find it as. And then you're going to hit save. And that's going to... Um, is exporting the mesh to that file and if you double click it it will open up blender now so you can double click that it will open up blender all right this is blender and this is actually uh are you playing the sims i will be playing the sims a little later we're going to be making some cc um but we're going to be doing community tours today and then tomorrow I'll be back with Not So Berry 2.0. Um, but yeah, so I've been promising to do it. Uh, uh, I've been promising to do a CC tutorial forever. So I gotta fulfill my promises to my papers. All right. Um, now I'm not eligible. Why? You, oh, cause you don't have Blender. It, Blender 2.7 is free. 2.79 is free. It really, it very much is. So. Um, but all right, so that's our that's our mesh. What I actually want to do, I'm gonna close this. Um, and I'm going to just open Blender and see Blender 2.79. It is it's it's free. It's free. It's free. I promise. Um, IDK. If I oh you can you don't know if you can use it on your Mac. I understand. Now, I did have to, because my last computer, sometimes Blender would crash. <laughs> so, you know, you definitely want to make sure your computer can handle it. But, um, yeah, so, but, yeah, you do need Blender. You do need Blender. So, this little cube here is going to be the first thing you see in Blender when you just open up Blender. Hit X on your keyboard and then delete. Okay, you don't need it. So, now, over here, if my mouse is in the left corner of the screen, under tools, you want to hit create. And then you're going to come down to text, okay? this. Uh, wait, never mind. I'm lying. Yes, I can. I was uh, trying to remix CC's Instagram, but I couldn't use uh, SimRipper. Oh, okay, okay. First of all, I love CC's Instagram. CC's Instagram. Now, one thing I want to get into are Blender scenes. I eventually want to make blender scenes, but I don't know where to start with those. They make me nervous. I've tried before to follow a tutorial. They are hard. Okay. So there are several things here we're going to do. All right. So we got our text and now with our text, you can, you see these little, the blue line, the green line, the red line, those arrows do what they say they're going to do. Okay. They pull up they pull back okay they just follow these lines do not let them make you nervous okay all right so um i'll be doing my best <laughs> it's cute okay so one thing we want to do here is all right so how i do this how i turn the text up is you want to press r and that's going to give you the rotational to kind of turn it in a circle right if you hit R again, it'll give you kind of free reign to turn around. So basically, you're going to 
double tap R, turn it up, and you can also kind of, you're kind of going to want to levitate this a little bit. Hi, hey Harley, thanks for doing this. No problem, absolutely, absolutely. I've been saying I was going to do it. I should have been done it. So you kind of want to make sure this is straight. You kind of want to make, I make sure this is along the axis because that is basically your wall in game. So yeah, that's gonna be basically your wall. Um, I'm actually gonna lower this a little bit because it's not necessarily important to be. But yeah, you see how it's like not necessarily following that red line. I just like to line them up. All right, and then you know you just want to make it straight. Okay, that's not straight. Why is it still whatever? And. That's as bad straight as she's gonna be. And so, all right, so you see down here where this little thing says object mode, you wanna click that. And you wanna go to edit mode. That way you can change the text. So, you wanna backspace, and then I'm just simply gonna write the word peach, okay? And what I'm gonna do is, what you wanna do is, you can go to defont.com, find any font that you want. And you can change that into this. I already have the font I'm using. So I'm coming over here to the F. F for font, okay? Where am I going? I'm going over here to the right side of the screen. Up here at the top, right next to this little uh, wrench icon is an F. You wanna hit that F. And you wanna come down to where it says font over here. And now I'm trying to be, if you, if you <laughs> see me click something and you're like, why did you click that? Where is it? asked me because one thing about tutorials you will find online is that they are made by people who know what the fuck they're doing and let me hold on wait let me pause real quick because i have to say this i have to say this i have to um i like i have to say this okay Usually a lot of these tutorials are made by people who know absolutely what the fuck they're doing. So they are just clicking on the screen and you're like, wait, huh, huh, what are you doing? So you have to go back and re-watch the stream several times to figure out what it, it was that they did. So if you see me do something and you're like, where did you click? Or if I'm over explaining where I'm clicking at and I'm making it sound like you're stupid, I promise you, I don't think y'all are slow. I just understand there's a lot of steps to this and I don't want you to miss nothing, all right? So, let's get back to it. I don't mind questions. This is a tutorial, basically. Ask me questions. Um, even if you're a lurker, it's your first time, you know, actually saying anything in the stream and you just come in and ask a random ass question. I don't mind that today. It's it's we're doing thank you so much for this guy hi barclay absolutely you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome um you know i listen tutorials <laughs> they're hard to find bro and i remember learning to make poses i had to watch three <laughs> i wish i can have cc on console listen see now you got the tools for when you get there when you get there or thank you thank you yes i appreciate that you guys are so sweet um so all right, so basically you want to be you want to get your font from the font.com basically save it on save it in a folder on your dashboard and then you want to come up here to font now you'll see in the font there's regular bold italic however you want your font to look I usually just do regular and you want to click this little uh, folder if you hold over it'll say load a new font from file click that um, I have my fonts in a folder where it says fonts I use the sweet rasty you open that font there's your there is your font on your words. Now, I'm going to come back over here to object. I'm going to click object, okay? Here is where we're going to start getting into what sounds like Greek, okay? We're going to create a UV. <laughs> we're going to create the UV, all right? The UV is basically going to be our texture map. Our text. What is a texture map? Your texture map is basically the color, the print, the pattern on it. This is a mesh. This is a mesh. So when we are creating a new mesh, we're gonna upload it over the old mesh and then we're gonna create a texture. So one thing you wanna do with your mesh now that you've created it is come over here to extrude and you want to extrude this bad boy. What does that mean? You see how it's razor flat right now? You don't want that because it will disappear on you in game. Remember to extrude your mesh people. <laughs> 
It it will okay. So I like to extrude to twenty five. Um, it's just a number that works for me. Every every one that I extrude to twenty five does not end up looking crazy, right? So, all right. So I'm extruded twenty five. You see how it's a little thick on the girls. I kind of like that. Um, you know, you just don't want a flat piece of CC. So. To create our UV at a uh, map, we need to pull this out. So down here, bottom right hand corner. Actually, before we do that, no, no, no. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's let's pull this out. All right. So that's really all you need, right? You need to pull this out a little bit, and then in this little corner here where you just pulled it out. You see this little square down in the bottom left hand corner above this little timeline? You are going to click that. Go up to UV Image Editor and click that. Okay, that's what it needs to look like. And then hold your mouse over here where you have your, your mesh. Click the one and then the five. That's just kind of going to put your mesh, um, that's going to put your mesh kind of in center focus view. Press the one and the five on your number pad it's gonna put your mesh into focus. And then what you wanna do from there is put this bad boy back into object mode, into edit mode. Nope. Um, okay, so you got your UV editor open. You wanna to come to object here, right? On your mesh and come up to the top. Convert mesh from curve. You wanna create your mesh from your curve and now you just created your base mesh, okay? Um, we are not done. <laughs> so now, you see you got more options when you click object mode. You've got sculpture, vertex paint, weight paint, texture paint. Don't worry about none of that. Right now, you just need to go to edit. And now you see you've got kind of a different, uh, different view going here, right? Um, hit A. When you hit A and you are in this screen and you hit A, it will cover every i used to do this thing where because basically to create you need to highlight your map you need to highlight your uh your mesh to create your uv image right you need to highlight your mesh but i used to go in here and highlight it manually just do all this you save yourself a lot of trouble when you just hit a that that gets you everything you need all right one and then the five and now that you're in, and you need to be in edit mode for this. Be in edit mode at this point, because when you are in object mode, you don't see it over here, all right? I fuck my own self up sometimes, all right? So come down to shading in UVs in edit mode once you've uh, created your object from mesh, unwrap project from view, okay? That is going to put your uh, UV map over here, and then um, using Blender, if you want this to be bigger, just hit S and kind of just pull it out, right? S means scale in Blender. So when you hit S, it, uh, it'll it make it bigger, make it smaller. And you can use, it, use your mouse to kind of control it. So for here, we want to be one and done with the UV. UVs, export UV to layout. Um, I like to put these UVs in my original decor folder, and then you need to name it. Name it something you're going to know to find it. I'm just going to call it Peach 2, right? Um, and then I am going to export that UV layout. Our UV layout is there. We're going to tuck that in the back of our brain for right now. Um, this has been created, basically, okay? So, now, one thing we're going to do here is um, we need to go back into object mode, all right? Now, y'all remember that mesh we exported earlier, our outside wall light. Okay, when I say go back into object mode, you're in object mode because when you are in edit mode, you cannot append. You need to append because this is actually going to be able to put your mesh in game, okay? So, we're going to join those two meshes together. We're going to join our peach mesh and the outside wall light so that we can actually put it in game, right? So you can't, you can't append anything in object mode or am I, no, you can't append anything in edit mode. Boom. You see how it's like grayed out. 
So come over to object mode, uh, panned, and then go to your blender rigs where you got your blender rigs. You see, I've got a bunch of them. Um, so I am going to come over and what was it called? So we call it an outside wall light. You want to click on that. You're going to see all this. Do not get intimidated. That this means nothing. So click object. Hold on, I did that fast. So you want to come to object. You want to click object. You need to. You can just kind of hold and drag up. You need Sims for. You need S4 Studio Mesh zero and one. So highlight both of those. If you don't drag and whatever, you can um, just basically hold shift and click. You know how like usually you hold control, you can click multiple things. In Blender, it's shift. So you want to click shift, click both of these things, and then append from the library. That puts both of these meshes right here, right? All right, cool. Cooking with some grease now. So both of these are in game, or, you know, here. Um, what we want to do is, is you're up here. Look at the top right uh, where it says all scenes scene you're gonna really worry about this so you can click your text and where the wall light of pins in at is kind of like your center basis this is where like the, your object will be perfectly centered so i'm just kind of going to pull it over a little bit just center it a little bit for me um i like to like i said i like to pull it up a little bit because you're going to delete this you're going to delete the light so that you're just left with this. But before you do that, up here in your scenes at the top right, you got text highlighted, hold shift, so that you can select basically the mesh you just brought in. Since for studio in mesh one, you're gonna put your uh, mouse back in the center where everything is, just basically here so that it actually works. And then you're gonna hold control and J on your uh, keyboard. That is going to that is going to join everything together. Control J is join. You are joining these two meshes together. Now, what we need to do is now we've deleted, we've joined these two meshes together. Basically, one thing. See, they move, they move together now. What you want to do is come down here to edit mode. Okay, and you see nothing is selected, nothing is highlighted. This is what I do. Press C. Press C on your keyboard. And then C highlights multiple what they call vertices. Vertices are these little points. All these little points, these little, they're black, right? So let me, let, like, if I, if I were to do it here, right? All these little points, all these little corners, those are called vertices. So I just press C. And there is a better way to do this that other um, CC creators will tell you to. You can actually do it with the UV map. I don't know how to do it. It never works right for me, but this always works. So, and it's probably why I get a shadow sometimes, but it's fine. So now you want to highlight as much as you can each time. You're going to do this several times because you're going to think you have it. And you need to right click to get rid. So you press C. It gives you this little circle to get rid of that. Just right click, just right click, um, and then press X. Okay, and then you're going to delete the top one, the vertices. Those go away. Great. Keep doing it until this is no longer seen, because otherwise this is going to show up in your game, and you don't want this to show up in your game because you're not using, you're not trying to make, you know a wall light like that was already there so just delete all the vertices delete all the vertices um all these little black points you just want to get rid of those um again why don't they all highlight why am i missing some don't know but that's just the thing and again there are better ways to do this if you make cc and you think i'm doing something wrong let me know child because i always i'm trying to improve all right cool so now you've got this um and you can actually move it down if you would like okay so there we go now brass tacks let's come over here to the right 
down at the bottom, UV maps, UV zero and UV one. Go ahead and delete those. Just hit this little minus button. And now you only need to be left with is the UV map, okay? You're basically good from here. So let's come on over and save as. It is a blender file. So, which it needs to be. Peach, I'm gonna save it as Peach 2. Um, and I'm gonna save it in my blender rigs. And I am going to save that file. Now, that was easy. That was, I mean, if you never did this before, that probably didn't sound easy, but this is easy. And then come back on over to, let me make sure I did everything. I did everything. And you wanna come back over to Sims 4 Studio. So we're back over in Sims 4 Studio. And you wanna make sure you're on LOD zero. All right, back in your meshes tab. And you want to import a mesh. Import a mesh you just did. So we got our Blender Rigs file open. We're going to do our Peach 2. And we're going to let it import. Okay. So, and then watch the way it imports. If this goes quickly and then nothing happens, you did something wrong, you need to backtrack a step or maybe even start over. It happens to me all the time. I'm like, what the fuck did I just do? Sometimes make sure you're realizing where you put your <laughs> your blender rig. Because sometimes you'll be trying to input the package, which happened to me. Happens to me. So we got our sign here. If you're worried about why it looks like that, don't. Because that's the texture that's on it. That's the texture that was on the light. Don't worry about why it looks like that. Okay, so LOD zero. Keep doing it. Okay, go and import your mesh to all three LODs. Don't worry about the shadows just yet. We'll get to the shadows, but let's open and we're gonna do LOD uh, zero, one, and two. So let's just import our mesh. And this is for anything, no matter what kind of mesh you're making. Like if this is for wall lights, you know, if you, whatever kind of wall light you were making, this is kind of how it's gonna work. So, so Peach, and then you want to come down to two and we're going to do it once again. Okay. All right. Are we tracking? We following? All right, so we got all this in, and we can just kind of take a look around it, whatever. Now, this is where we're at right now. We're going to take a beat, move on over to texture, right? Um, now, what we need to do is we saved our UV map. We need to get that out. So open your photo editing software, whatever it is that you use. I use GIMP uh, 2.10, GIMP is free. Is you know, not like Photoshop, GIMP is free. Um, so I use GIMP and I just want to go over to file. You don't need to do new, just open something. Um, okay, so I'm going to go to desktop, my CC. I put it in this folder, it's right there. We're going to open it. This is what our UV map looks like. This is what our UV map looks like, okay. Uh, what I like to do is take a little border, put it around it, and then also I need to come and um, so I'm just looking up the peach color hex code um, just to have the right color here. So um, FFE 5B4. So in okay let me let me let me pull that back up <laughs> um ffe 5b4 so you want to basically click the colors here um i like to find hex codes sometimes i think it just makes it easier uh ffe 5b4 that's a three uh and enter that gives you the perfect peach color. Hit OK. And then now, 
get your little, little paint tool or whatever, you want to make sure you cover this whole thing, okay? I've always done it just a little sloppy like this. Like the CC creator I saw do it, she was very much like, let's follow this around, just cover this thing. Just cover her, um, cover all of it because you don't want any of this mess showing through um, at all. So yeah, just cover it um, and then drink some water. Thank you, Yasmin. Um, and then let's go ahead. Now with GIMP, if you use GIMP, like I'll use GIMP, you need to, um, don't, Never save as. Always export as. Export as because that'll save it as a PNG. When you save as, it saves as some weird ass file you will not be able to use. So you might have to get um, a PNG exporter. They're free online. Just look them up. But um, so I never like to save over my map, over my UV map. I like to when you export as, you can save it as something else and then I can still, in case you want to color this in several different ways, right? Because you can always color your mesh in several different ways and then upload them with swatches, okay? I like to save this, I'm gonna save this to one, why not? Um, as Peach to the first one and then I'm just gonna hit export. It's gonna be like, are you sure? Yes, export as a PNG. Um, hold on, let me make sure what file I saved that as. <laughs> Export as, okay, original decor, cool. Um, so now back here, we're gonna come to, we're gonna go back into Sports Studio, and I'm gonna have to rewatch this over and over because, Lord, there are steps, there are steps, and if you need me to slow down, let me know. Um, but so you just cover your mesh with a color, basically. This is the, this is very simple. And then import, okay? And so, find where you saved it. Uh, yeah, this is basically all, all, uh, there you go, boom. It's so many specifics, it is, yes it is, yes it is. And I've made a light for every generation, so I have done it a bunch of times, I've messed up a bunch of times, so I I know <laughs> like what T is, but yeah, it, at this point it's it's a simple for me. No, you are going slow enough, but I think with the text being hard to read, it's a, a little difficult. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I understand what you mean. It's only but so big on your screen. Um, so but yeah, definitely like watch the VOD over and over again. Um, look up tutorials. I know Simmer Kate does one. I follow Simmer, Simmer Kate's. Hers is pretty, pretty succinct to follow, even though she tries. I think she points out just what she thinks are important at the time. But sometimes she's just like, and click here. You're like, where did you click, girl? Um, so I understand. I understand. Um, but so now basically we've got our, we got our CC. We put our, uh, it, it's only going to have one swatch, so you don't really need to worry about the swatch thumbnail color. Um, you can create... There's a certain size that you need to make your catalog thumbnail. Um, I do like a catalog thumbnail. I will tell you I don't really make them. But I know how to make them. I actually kind of have one, I think, in this size. But if you're not, it'll just show you what it is. And that's fine. Uh... Okay, so then you can kind of change that. You can change the swatch thumbnail. Um, it's totally fine. And all right, so we kind of got it, right? That's pretty much our CC. That's basically what I want. So um, you guys have seen the light before. This is basically it, right? Um, all right, so you got it all here. Now, I would like to say that we're done. <laughs> But we need to do the shadows, which is not hard, all right? This is, we're in the finishing, polishing, and then putting in the game part here. So, I mean, we've been live for about 45 minutes. This takes you about 45 minutes. Like, you know, it's really not that hard. So, what you want to do is you want to be on LOD zero, and you want to export this mesh. 
um, put it in, it's a blender file. So you wanna put it in your blender rigs file, right? So just basically, it's a blender file. You're gonna export this, it's a blender file. Just make sure you put it with your other blender rig, your blender files. And I'm going to save this as peach to shadow, whatever. Now, when you're doing this part, you want to make sure you are saving this part as a shadow because it's your shadow mesh. What does this do exactly? I don't know, but sometimes it looks cleaner when you do it. So just do it. All right, so you want to hit save. And I'm going to double click on that just to open her up. All right, so there's our mesh right there, basically. That's what we got. This is how it looks, actually. This is cute. All right, um, and that's nice, all right? Um, and what you're gonna do basically in here is come over down to the right. You wanna come all the way down here to where it says cut, right? Right here. And you wanna change that one to a zero and you are going to save her. You're just gonna save over it, basically. That's just it. And then, Let's go back to Sims 4 Studio, and now you go down to Shadow LOD, and you want to import your mesh from your Blender files. Let's pull in that Peach 2 Shadow. Go ahead and open her, and let her import. It should show up gray. It should show up gray. If it shows up gray, you did it right. Sometimes, you know, you export your mesh, it's got a texture on it, and then you import the shadows in their gray You're like oh shit did i do something no you didn't if they show up gray that means you did everything right um usually at this point when i've struggled with a mesh and then i import the shadows and they show up gray i'm like oh thank god oh i'm doing something so you, like again you're going to do this several times over just the three times but import your shadows All right, and one more time. One more time for your nerve. Peach 2 Shadow. Purr it. All right, and then we've got uh, basically our mesh. We've got some CC here. That is basically, I mean, we've done it kind of. So um now like i said if you started it open if you started it and put it in your game in your mods folder then you're basically kind of done um now one thing you want to do before this is the fun part is come over here to tags right and tag it you know a color i'm since it's peach too specific i want to do yellow and maybe green i mean orange why did i say green I don't know, sure, and you can click apply to all swatches, that way if you have more than one swatch, you know, it'll tell you what type of light it is, a wall light, light for the wall, uh, it'll, there are functions here, it's always usually on talk to objects and can be struck by lightning, I just leave those because it's not really hurting anything. I like to come down to gameplay effects and put a nice plus two environment score on it. That means your sim will like it in the house. You know how your sims are like, ooh, it's nicely decorated in here. When you put the sign up, you know you want your sims to like the, the, the stuff you made. Um, so yeah, there's that. I'm just gonna leave those alone. Okay, and so, and then also in the catalog, Put something, you know, usually what I like for a CC creator to do is put, if nothing else, you wanna create CC, at least put who made it. Like at least put your social medias or your name or something, um, you know, in the description so that when people hover over it in game, they know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how many pieces of CC you go to and you're like, who made this? And you're like, oh crap, it's not here. It's not hard, just put your damn name or something so that people know where the hell you got your CC from. Um, 
Because even when you like put something in the game, you're like, ooh, this is cute. What creator made this? And then you don't know. Um, so, look, it's... All right, it's Peach Gen, kind of be a cop. It's okay, you have a sense of humor about it. I'm gonna put that, and then I'm just gonna kind of, I'm just gonna put my name, how about that? And I'm gonna hit save on that bad boy. Your package has been saved, okay? Package has been saved. Now also, real quick, this is a step that I honestly, truly do about half the time. It is something that I know the CC creators I watch tell me to do. I 100% don't really know what it does. But, so DST image here, right? You got one, two, and three. The third one where you can see your um, UV map, like what we covered in Peach and then put as our texture, do not touch that. You will turn your mesh dark and there's no way to fix it. Um, but here, um, now, if you watch Simmer Kate's Neon Lights tutorial, she has some some speculars and normals. You can input specular maps and normals here. What do those mean? I don't really know. I have them. What do they do? I don't really know. But just for, you know, sake of litigiousness, look up the Sim 4 Neon Lights tutorial on YouTube. Simmer Kate's tutorial will come up. It should be the first one. And if you use that actual, like, typing out, um, and cool, cool. Fuck them speculars. Let's just take that all out. The normals and specs, again, I don't know what they do. Every time, it's like a hit and miss. Like, sometimes I'll turn my mesh dark. I don't like that. I don't know what it is. I, I really don't know what it does. It Like, even, because, like, I've done it before and totally, like, missed my speculars. So, this is basically done. Let me just make sure what we're saying at the way it's being saying. All right. So, I have, like, even if I upload my speculars, sorry, y'all, more. Uh, if I upload my, even if I upload it and it works, it never, it doesn't look any different. It doesn't look any cleaner. So I don't really necessarily, I mean, maybe, I don't know. Like, it's like very small detail that like you will have to train your eye to see. I, you know, so there's no real point to me um, to upload the normals and speculars, even though a lot of CC creators will tell you to. Somebody smarter than me can explain it. So what we have now is a completed piece of CC. Once you input your shadow, shadow LODs, you're kind of done. So what we're gonna do is go in the game and test her out. Um, so, all right, cool. So we've got this saved. Uh, da 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 da. da. Uh, yeah. And I like to open my mods folder, and then I also like to open. Another thing. Where is it? Hello to that head bitch. If you're thorough with it, breath. Okay, um, and I put the package here. Now, if you're looking for your mesh and everything, you're like, oh my god, where is it? It's always a package. So the Peach 2 package. Um, find me in that burrow if you thought I'm gonna delete the old one because I don't like it. I don't like it. And then, um, we are going to put the Peach 2 package into the mods folder. Um, this is my mods folder, it is mostly organized. And then I have things down here. Some of these things can go in specific folders, and I need to do that. But most of this stuff is like stuff that I need to be able to take out. <laughs> um, yeah, they usually, usually, there's a lot of like my stuff here, um, and yeah, like my pose player, my cast background, um, 
you know, override, stuff like that I usually have out. But everything else is pretty much in a folder. Extreme violence. I took base mental out because base mental is not working as of right now. Um, but, you know, make sure and everything only needs to be in one folder. So make sure your mods folder, I'm not saying it looks like this, but make sure you... Make sure you organize your mods folders, guys. Like, you know, when updates come and a mod breaks, just hit delete. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to have to go hunting for pieces. And, you know, one folder deep, that way you put everything in one folder. Even if it comes in separate folders, which, like, the Extreme Violence mod does, just put it all in, like, create a new folder. Just make a folder, guys. Um, so, but yeah, everything is pretty much labeled and organized here like this is my build this is what i have for like build cc and things and you know it's a it can be a touch of a pain in the butt to do when you are um downloading cc and stuff but not really it's not that hard so all right it's all it's in my it's in my mods folder let's go ahead and open up our game and look at her in game and then we'll see what we got Okay. All right, let's let the game open. I think I got a lot going on. That's why it's, it's going to take a... It's not really going to take a second, but... Um, but yeah, let's just let the game open. And I am... Going to drink my water. You're so happy? Yay! <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Okay, so there's that. And then I want to run through making an animation with you guys. That was like an hour, right? That was that wasn't bad. So, um, and we're gonna let you guys still get you know time if you haven't created anything that you don't that you want to work for. Um, for the thing, you still got time. You still got time. For the community tours, you still got time. So, we're going to come and uh, we're going to test this out. And then I think what I want to do, run through, um, I want to run through making like an animation. Poses. Because, I don't know, animations are easy to me. So I think we'll just start with an animation. You get like a pose is so simple. Like a pose is so simple. So we'll kind of do like a pose and then we'll do an animation. So it's always usually easier to get like a reference for your pose. But it, it's, it's, I don't know, poses are easy. They're just real easy. <laughs> um, I hate saying it like that, but, well, no, not really. I don't, because let's just take this thing out of it. Like, most people learn to make CC by making poses because poses are the easiest kind of thing to do. Um, and, you know, for making, like, wall art, you know. Um, I would create wall art, but I kind of learned my lesson. Um, I've made a lot of wall art that I did want to release to the community and everything, but I used... I wouldn't create more wall art unless it was art that I specifically made or had the rights to. Because the last stuff I used, it, it's like fun for me. It's an artist that I support all the time, like financially. Not, not only, not, I don't get a girl. Like, like I buy her stuff. Like I do buy her stuff. I have a lot of her stuff. But, you know, I, you know, I asked, like, hey, would you mind if I release this to my community? Like, blah, blah, blah. I'm a streamer, da, da, da. She said no. 
Like she was just like I. She was polite about it. She was like, I prefer if you didn't. But um, I just I I, I don't want to show you how to create wall art because I would basically go hunting for art that wasn't mine. And I don't want to do that again because I don't want to make more art that looks nice and then not be able to release it. Hi, Brown Eye. How are you? Welcome in. So, yeah, I don't want to show you how to create art that I can't, like, give you. You know what I'm saying? Um, but maybe it'll be, like, pictures of, like, the sky or something, like stock photos or something. What's next? Poses? Yes, poses. Poses and animations. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be doing some poses. But yeah, like the wall, like I was just saying, like the wall art, I don't want to show you guys how to make that and then not be able to release it to you because the artist doesn't want me to. Um, and yeah, because like I had some stuff that I was going to release and then, you know, the artist said no, not, I'm not, not going to tell you her name. <laughs> not because I don't want you to support the artist, but because I don't, like I don't want anybody to like say anything rude to her. Like, you know, it, it totally, hey, she didn't want the art release, it's fine. Um, but yeah, so we're loading in the game now. Um, hold on. So yeah, we're getting loaded in the game here now. And give me a second. Would I be able to create pictures of my of your Sims as well? Art? Uh, yeah, yeah, I could do that. Hi, Repo. Yeah, I could do that actually. I could do that. Uh, make some pictures of my Sims as well. Art. Yeah. I can show you how to do that. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Um, thank you. That's a good idea actually. Cause I was like, oh, I don't want to like create something that I can't like show. But hey. If they're my sims, then I can do it right. I've never heard this song before. <laughs> The pictures are stunning, especially the ones of snowy and blue. Oh, thank you. That would be a good idea, actually. Like, create, like, CC of those. Okay. I don't know why that never occurred to me. I don't know why I never... I've, like, got screenshots out the ass now. <laughs> now, if I ain't got nothing, I got some screenshots. Seeing Snowy and Tartos is the only reason I bought the wedding pack. Really? Barkley. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying it. They did They did update it, so apparently it should be working now. All right, cool. Um, so I've got some, I'm in my not so very safe, well, not my not, my not so very safe file. This is a random save file that I have uh, some of my not so very sins in. And uh, so everybody else lives like next door. They live next, there's no houses or anything here. I just put them all here. Just so I can see them when I want them. But uh, we got a uh, princess out here. I don't know why she's out here on the street. But uh, glad she's out here because I was just making her wall light. Uh, Blue and Jade. The rest of the other seven generations live next door. But yeah, there's eight people in their house. Um, yes, the fact that they're still standing here is so funny. Um, so, yeah, these are the rest of the lights that we made for the generations, right? And let's pop into build mode. My man, Blue. Man, Blue. I love Blue. <laughs> I love all of them. I love all of them. Okay, so, honestly, it's about time for me to add Snowy to the mix, because she is a young adult. Um, she's getting now. 
She is getting there. Um. So, yeah, here we go. We got all of them. I've added it. And there she goes. Now, one thing I will say is, is that I don't know how to get rid of that shadow mesh, but that shadow under it. But it honestly looks a lot better than the last one. And, you know, I always usually, like, dress it up with, like, maybe, like, a little wall art or something. Pretty much. But, um, but, ooh, nice stream the other day. Good girl, you out here streaming. I love that. Love that. I'll be lurking every now and again. I'll be seeing Okay. But yeah, so that's it. Uh, but yeah, something like that. All right, move that light off it. So you can see that it actually is cute. It, yeah, I see. The other one didn't, wasn't cute. Um, but yeah, so, and it is a wall light. Um, so like, it will actually like display light. So when you are in game, you can change the color of it. Um, you can do pretty much all that good jazz. All that ooh la la. Yep. So, yep, turn on, set color and intensity, this line. See, and we can kind of give it. And see, so you can kind of do that. You know, add a little spice, maybe. I to do this with all these, but I am. Um, but yeah, this is basically it. Uh, actually, that's cute. <laughs> See, just make it look a little more. Um, make it look, make it glow a little bit more. See, there you go. All right. Um, I'm trying to be like you. <laughs> Absolutely. Girl, yes, you better be out here streaming them up something. I haven't seen a person play on console before. You know, console players be out here doing it. Console players really are out here doing it. So, but yeah, those are our um, those are our likes. Now, the only thing you really got to do is put it on Sims, uh, Sims File Share and to make it like a downloadable link for you all, which is basically what I'm gonna do. Um, so that's that. Those are those are those are the likes. Um, so, one thing I want to do is, because what you uh, want to do, not necessarily what you want to do, um, is put them all in, and then the not so berry, like to put them, um, are you going to make a CC wallpaper? I don't know how to make CC wallpaper. That is not so, this is beginner CC, I don't actually don't know how to do that. Um, I wish I did. That is maybe something I can learn to do. Um, but, yeah, I don't know how to do that at all. So, this is actually cute. <laughs> I never thought about putting the purple light on it. Um, my family was stressing me out the other day. Oh, no. All right, cool. So, but, yeah, we're going to do, like, a little bit of a, some, um, yeah, we're going to do some poses here in a second. Let me just get up in Princess' face. Cause, hey, girl, I miss you, girl. Oh, um, how you do it, Prince? How you do it, Prinky? Um, aw, guys, I miss Princess. Uh, I miss Jade. I miss all of my Sims. I love you. Just kind of want to throw them in a in a world. Maybe when I do like a legacy, I just might throw them out in the world. Like, make them all, like, related somehow, and then just throw them out into a world. Because this, this... Oh, Blue. How you doing, friend? Oh, anyway. 
All right, um, let's go ahead and exit and then save. I want to kind of combine them all into a file. I miss you, it's been too long. And it's been too long. I'm long without you. I miss you. Come back home. I miss your style. And see you in a while. I'm so alone. I miss you. Come back home. You know what? That is very funny. <laughs> oh, that is very funny. I miss your style and see you. I love your voice. Thank you, yes. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, but thank you, though. I appreciate that. All right, cool. So, let me go grab another bottle of water. I'm going to be our B, and then we're going to get into making some simple, simple, simple animations and poses. That's what we're going to do next. So if you guys have any idea for a pose pack, well, we can do like... I can show you how to do a pose pack, and I can show you how to do like animation overrides. Like, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about the theory of both, okay? All right, but I'm going to be right back. Okay. Martia, did I try to make custom art? I haven't done custom art. We just did like a custom wall sign, like a custom wall light. Um, and I mean, I can show you how to do custom wall art. I was saying I didn't want to show, I didn't want to do custom wall art because I didn't want to show you how to do CC for art I didn't own. Then I couldn't give it to you. Um, but I'll use one of my like a, I'll use a screenshot of one of my sims and I think that'll be fine um but I'll use like a screenshot I know I've got stuff in my screenshots okay so we're gonna get into let me see alright let me take my mug off here and let's go back to the main menu alright so, if you want, do we want to do, what do we want to do first? Do we want to do, um, an object, or we can go right into poses? I mean, we did something on the walls, we can kind of do, like, let's see. Alright, um, alright, let's do it. So, what you really need to do is go into object... So, again, you need Sims 4 Studio. Why did I minimize it? All right, so you need Sims 4 Studio. If you want to make custom wall art, you need your picture. Or is it the same concept as lights? Um, you don't have to go into Blender for this. So, you do not have to go into Blender for this. But, let's uh, let's just do it. It's actually easy. So, um, I'm not mistaken on this. Okay, so, object... And now you want to choose something out of the base game. Okay, so it can be base game compatible. Okay, 
So you see all of these here, these are what's in the base game. Now, understand the frame is kind of going to be what sticks with you because you're just kind of overriding what's there. Um, so let's see. Let's find something from the base game that has a frame <laughs> that isn't too garish. Um, what did I do? I think I did it on the sad clown painting. Let me find it. It's been a good old while since I've made uh, some custom art, so this will be a good refresher, actually. Um, so you need to kind of scroll through here, look for uh, a picture. Those are small. I'm looking for something that's going to be a normal... It's going to be a decent size, you know? You know? Did you know? Um, let's see. So you just kind of take a scroll through. Yeah, all of this is base game. Nope. And then we get into outdoor retreats. So anything above, it kind of goes in order of when the packs are released. So it's like outdoor retreat, get to work, you know, the free stuff. And then there's more get to work. Um, but, you know, so on and so forth and so forth. With, uh, where is that sad? I know a lot of people, when they do custom paintings, they do it on the sad clown painting. Um, and I would look through my files, but it's been so long since I've created some art that I don't remember what I would have named it or anything. But, yeah, let's just find, like, a base mesh real quick well not quickly because this hasn't been quick at all um it's taking me a second to find it actually um and i kind of want to use it i might use something long so that i can like do blue and snowy's picture um that would be me running through Is that it? Is that something I want to use? No, I don't like the frame. Um, that's it. This is the sad clown border is what I like. Uh, that's what I think most people do it on, but I haven't really watched it in two and a <laughs> Take your time. Yeah, find it. But hi, Blue Fox. Welcome on in. Um, perfect. I'm bad at stuff, so I need uh, easy to start with. Absolutely. Okay, cool. The perfect, The you see the little, just a simple black frame around it? It's perfect. All right, so um, the sad clown. Now this again. So once you are in Sims 4 Studio, you pick your you pick your picture. This is to create custom art. We are creating custom art. You pick your picture. You want to hit next. Okay. This is creating the actual CC file, right? This is creating your actual C Sims 4 package. You see. Sims 4 package, package files are CC. That's your mods, that's your whatever. That's what you put into your mods folder, okay? So, a lot of CC creators will tell you, put this into your mods folder. I don't do that. I always put it into my original, it's a personal file of mine. That is just my personal thing. Put it in your mods folder, it does just make it easy. So, uh, wait, can you go back to how uh, you get to that selection screen? I absolutely can. I sure can. Um, so, hold on, wait. Let me go back to the main menu. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me, uh, no, no, you're fine. Okay, so, Sims 4 Studio is what you need, right? Sims 4 Studio. You need Sims 4 Studio, and then you need to go to Object. Um, so go to Sims 4 Studio, go to Object. So that's giving you all the objects in the game. That's going to give you all the objects in the game. Um, so you got animation, build, cast, object. Build mode is build is for like build stuff, walls, floors, all that jazz. Cast is for cast. Animations, those are your poses. Object, standalone recolor. That's what you need to do. And then to get the sad clown photo. Just type in sad, 
boom. Sad clown photo usually has like a simple frame for what you want to do. And then we're going to hit next. All right, um, I'm going to save that da -da -da, here. Oh, wait. Um, and then I'm going to call this bad boy. What are we making? Um, let's just call it a tutorial pick, a tutorial pick. Um, <laughs> and then we're going to hit save. Okay, we're going to hit save. And that is going to load. Oh, it's going to load. Okay, so this is going to bring us right here. And it's gonna show us the, basically this that clown mesh and texture and everything. This is what it looks like, okay? Um, we don't need to mess with the mesh on this. Anyone else taking notes? I'm a nerd. Take, <laughs> take your notes, friend. Um, okay, so you're gonna come down to texture and then you want to export this texture. Um, again, I'm gonna save this. This you wanna do like, just save it where you want to save it. Um, uh, and it's going to save as a PNG, which is kind of perfect. It's, it's going to save as a PNG. So I'm going to call it the sad clown texture uh, just so I know what it's called and I can kind of have it again if I want to create more photos. Um, and this is going to be something that we're going to open up in our photo editor. So I got the sad clown texture and it's going to look like the actual, see, it, you see over here, right here, this is what your texture fully laid out looks like. Like if you want to recolor something, like we can get into recolors too, if you guys want to do that, because when you want to recolor something, the, the actual UV map is what your texture is. This UV map shows like everything laid out. So it's this is the back of it here. Like if you kind of turn this around, you'll see, you'll see that. This is the back of it. This is the center of it. These are like the borders and everything. You just kind of got to learn how to read the UV map and then you can recolor anything, anything. Um, recolors can be a little, they can be hard to look good. They can be hard to look good, but if you can get it down, then they're fine. Um, all right, so we've got this saved. So what I'm gonna do is come over and we're gonna open GIMP again. I use GIMP, you can use Photoshop, you can use pretty much anything. Whatever it is that you use to edit photos. And then let's go to file and we are going to open and then just go to where you have your uh, texture saved and then we're going to open that <laughs> okay um now one thing you want to do here is you want to kind of cut this out <laughs> um I haven't done this in so long. Should I like cover this? I don't think so. I probably need to just delete it. All right. Um, all right. That's the wrong thing. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so you got your picture here. Let's uh, uh, hold on. Let me get my pass tool. And because if you cut out your little clown photo, you'll just be left with the frame there. That line is crooked.
All right, cool. There we go. I was, why was that throwing me? I don't know. So, you kind of want to cut your sad... Uh, you, GIMP is free. GIMP is free. GIMP is free. Photoshop is not. So, um, if you look up GIMP, GIMP is free. I know people pick on GIMP because, you know, Photoshop, that I think they feel is superior. GIMP is not bad. And it's free. So, if you can get it done with GIMP, you can certainly get it done with Photoshop. But, we got GIMP. And so you use your pass tool. You kind of want to cut that photo out. Just hit delete. And I let that throw be way too hard. Now, one thing we should have done is kind of look for a photo. But we'll do that now. Um, so if you don't know how to get to your... If you don't know how to get to your mods folder, I guess I'll show you. Um, I know a lot of console players probably don't know. So basically, documents, electronic arts. The Sims 4 and um, mods. Then you get to your mods folder. Okay. And then this is where you just put CC. This is where you put your CC. Um, I need to download the updated file of uh, Base Mental. And do I have custom music? Oh, this is where the music is. You can put custom music into the game. I've tried once. It didn't work. Um, your tray folder. This is where you can put builds and stuff. Uh, or this is basically your library. Um, but these are your screenshots. We're just going to choose a screenshot from the game. Um, we might edit the photo a little bit. So, you know, uh, that also reminds me to get base mental because I wanted to try it out. Try, Yeah, definitely. Um, it did update. So with the recent patch that just came out, it did update. Um, all of these are just by date. I don't know which ones these are. So let's just, this is the fun part, just kind of finding a photo to use, right? Oh, I took a bunch of pictures. Um, we could probably use this one. Oh, not you. Ooh. And... Look, we've got a whole bunch of snowy in here. So any picture you actually take <laughs> with the camera do actually show up. Like the full thing. Um, oh, these are cute. Let's just run through. Let me see. Hi, Polly. Welcome in. We're making um, we're making a little custom wall art today. I'm just trying to find a picture. That I would like to use. You go to file uh, to get add a screenshot. No, um, no, no. This is just we have basically we got our we got our texture. This is like we cut out the photo. Now we're just simply finding a picture we want to use. Now we're just simply finding a picture that we want to use. Um, so we're not doing anything in particular right now. Which is finding the photo that we want to use. This is an apartment I built. Um, so this is basically how you get like custom content photos of like photos you've taken of your sim not mahogany just laying outside in the woods Look, she looks so peaceful um, I forgot about a lot of these pictures uh, snowy What's happening, honey? You know what? What if I was just going through my screenshots? This is hilarious. I take a lot of fucking pictures. You people did not tell me this. Um. <laughs> you people did not tell me this. Um. Child, I bet if I cleaned out this photos thing. Um. At this point, I'm just having a great time. Um, yeah, okay. Photos of Snow, Brian, Briar. This kind of pops. See, those will make for great wall art. Some of these actually kind of will. I low-key kind of want to use this one. <laughs> um, look at you guys! Y'all that stole! It's okay, you. Um, yeah, I took a lot of pictures of my not so bit. I take a lot of fucking. Cobbler! 
<laughs> okay. Um, yes, the yellow is perfect for art. See, I think so. I think these like real, like these are like, yeah. Oh, y'all. That's a very good spot. Um, I'm going to actually use this one. In the giant rose. Yes. Okay. Um, we'll actually do like, we'll do swatches. So we'll do like a couple of these. Um, just so I know what I'm going to do. Let me just save this as. So basically you find your photo. You want to save it. Um, I usually, to save things out of my... Um, to save things out of my screenshots, I do save them into like my PC's main picture folder. Um, Naranja pick, sure. Um, just gonna do that. Let's do a couple of these. Wait, hold on. See, we redid the peach sign. You see how the other one had like these little black marks on it? It doesn't have that now. Um, so I'm like kind of happy with it. So we'll do a couple of, uh, we'll do a couple of swatches on this one. Um, and make sure you're saving this to your like main pictures folder. Uh, education for our future generations then the better the future will be we are so blessed yeah, to have like the corner on that one it doesn't really matter actually i mean we're probably going to end up a huge part of that with eight billion cut these down in rosy pink um you walked away from your computer oh no worries but yes all right uh so we got a couple of these gold minty um, I'm glad Snowy was dying. And you know, let's just make a bunch of little. <laughs> I've taken a shit ton of photos of her. Um, aww. 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 Okay. This what I like this one. Um Alright, so we're finding the pictures that we want to use. And I've got a couple. I've got like four. That should be enough, right? Um, and we might end up doing a little tweaking. Oh, see, like, look, we got some nice little photos with Tartosa. Here, that would be cute. That should be cute wall art. Blue and Lucas. So many beautiful photos with Tartosa. More of my daughter when she was a child. Snowy was young. Her. Peaches and Jade! Oh my God, what? With little baby Blue. Shut your mouth. Oh, uh, actually, I actually took this for a thumbnail for Peaches and LP. <laughs> oh, that's it. Hey, Peaches. I like the things you do, the mint, right? See, look at it, okay. It was episode three, Aunt Peaches. Go, Peaches. No, so yeah, Blue is actually still a baby and Peaches is LP. <laughs> um, that pregnant lady we did photos of, oh, Snowy, when she, this was Snowy, like, just as a teenager? Oh my goodness. Sammy was alive. His little daughter was young. Oh my goodness. Bria's wedding. Yeah, see, you know, Jay got a booty. Okay, Jay, Jay, was, Jay had a body on her, but didn't she? Pictures of the boys' room before and after. Bria and... Bria and Dustin! Uh, before the back... Before the backstab. Before the backstab. Now I'm just going through my screenshots. You just kind of forget what's here, and then you get to go back through your screenshots, and you're like, oh, memories... All alone in the moonlight. Briar. 
You were like, oh, you were that girl. Remember our shows? <laughs> Look at that. Peaches and Lil White Baby. Now, Briar, you gotta be giving me all snowy. You were a little girl. Toss Snowy been in front of the camera her whole life. Child, we was a snack. Um, all right, I think I got enough photos. I'm just having a great time at this point. Um, all right, cool. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go and I'm going to open those photos I just uh, saved. Um, okay, look. And GIMP usually say gets everything before... They GIMP usually, it's like about the time. Uh, so when was like the last couple photos you saved? Well, they'll show up. So I'm gonna do those. I'm just gonna open those. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> old girl with Sammy's baby mama. She was, she was. Okay, look at you. You look great. You look angry, but you look good. Um, I'm going to color correct this one a little bit. So with GIMP, if you want to kind of, this is how, like, okay. So, if you want to tweak a photo a little bit, this is what I do. I kind of go to curves, and I just kind of adjust the brightness a little bit. And then I will kind of go, like, at the highest of the marks here, or usually the center, I'll go up. You see how this, like, little line right here is going all the way up? I'll kind of adjust that brightness up there. And then where it, like, kind of dips here, I'll kind of deepen that kind of just kind of makes it pop out a little bit more you went to image to add the photos so yeah, I went to file and then I went to open and then I added my photos and now we're just kind of color correcting the photos before we add them into our frame so we're kind of color correcting our photos before we add them into our frame we're just adding a little bit of brightness to them um, this part is totally optional this part is totally optional um, but I kind of like to add just a little bit of the brightness, uh, just because it, you know, add no spice, add no spice. Uh, so yeah, I just kind of like to edit my photos just a little bit and all right. Do just a little color correction and then all right so this here let's go ahead and all right so now we're ready to start kind of putting our pictures together so one thing i want to do here is uh i want to go to the picture i had i'm going to go over here down to the bottom left over here all the way on the other side of the screen where you see this little sad clown texture thing here um i'm going to add another layer and then let's just call it like new pig you don't necessarily have to name it how do you crop that image i'm kind of struggling a little bit so in gimp you're going to crop the image by holding shift and s so in gimp you crop the image by now this was something i struggled with Woo! okay um let me tell you this is this part was hard because you're trying to fit it into that frame right so now, if you like scale down and then try to resize it up, your picture will be blurry and you don't want that. So I used to like actually try to guess the exact dimensions and it was like trial and error, but then I learned how to scale down. So shift and S. So basically here, I'm going to throw a rectangle select tool around this. I'm going to hit control C. That's going to copy that photo for me. We've got our new layer here and we're going to put this down in our new layer. Shift and S. Uh, ah, okay. Okay, shift and S. Where is it? And then you just kind of drag it. Candy? candy? Um, yes, I don't believe you. Look for yourself. Oh, 
So yeah, I'm gonna have to redo this because you see I got blurry because now I'm like resizing it back up. But just kind of do this to get your dimensions. Okay, 216 and then 339, 329. Do you see these numbers up here with 216 uh, height, 329? You wanna make sure this is kind of like covering all of that um, checkerboard in the back. Make sure it's covering all that. Okay, 218, 328. Remember that number? And I'm actually going to delete this. <laughs> I am actually going to uh, delete that and then I'm actually going to add it back. And if you go down to layer, transform, nope. Wait, is it? Okay. Scale image. So now I told you something wrong. So go to image, scale image, and remember that number. What you want to do is break this. So if these two, these this little link here will keep it chained together. So if you change this, it'll change that. So break that. 218, 328. Scale. Okay, that didn't do what I was wanted it to oh okay here okay why is this giving me a hard time where the fuck did it go It's never actually given me these problem before. I don't know. Hold on. Wait. Give me a second. Maybe if I do like this. Is it because this picture is too big? I don't know. Hold on. Give me a second. <laughs> I'm like fucking it up. Hold on, wait. Oh no, I could have did it from here. Scale layer. The camp update. Why is it giving me a hard time? Don't write none of this down. Um. How do you get free CC? PD Yahoo free CC is all over the internet. <laughs> uh, you just gotta find it. Hi, Android. Hello, 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 ho, hello. So, um, kind of scale it before you add it in. Um, usually it's like 218, 328 or something. Um, so this is kind of. So now with GIMP, you want to make sure you got their PNC exporter as well. Don't save as export as and uh let's save this as the sims resource is a great spot you never did cc okay um i'm gonna name this naranja texture tumblr too absolutely but you have to be on pc so you have to use pc you have to use uh, you have to be a PC user to get CC. So if you use uh, PC Sims Resource, Sims Dom, but they changed their name to something else. <laughs> and Tumblr, pretty much, uh, pretty much the best places to do it. Um, all right, so I'm going to export that. Even though that kind of looks a little funky to me. Um, 
So, you got your texture. We exported it. Let's import. And there we go. How do I put CC? How do you put CC on The Sims? Alright, so that's basically the theory there. Even though um, the quality on that one doesn't really thrill me. Give me one second. So, I want the frame to be black. So, let's just add a swatch. And then let's do that again. So, we're basically going to... I'm going to layer this. I'm going to scale my layer um, down to the size of the picture that we're going to be putting in. I can tell you how to do that. Um, and we got Maya, squeeze my sexy Cupid. Yes, you want to play. But give me one second. I'm gonna roll here. Uh, so open this up and get rid of the clown one. You can honestly get rid of the clown and then save it again. Oh no, I need I didn't need the scale too. I need the pass. Okay. So, I'm going to go to my path tool, I'm going to cut this out, and then once you kind of connect all the points, enter, delete, um, and I'm going to copy that, and then drop this in there. Why does that texture look so funky? Is it because it's scaled down so low? Yeah, these pictures are huge. So usually if you find a smaller picture, it'll look nicer. Um, but no, I mean, I, I, I did kind of do a little, we can do like a little visual. They should not be zip. I did a little visual earlier, so I can do another little visual. Just give me a second. Um, export as rosy texture. Um, And then for this one, for Swatch 2, you're just kind of going to find your picture, open. It actually doesn't look terrible here. It's probably going to look better in-game. Um, Black CC, what does that mean? Okay, so a real quick CC tutorial if you don't know how to use CC. So if you download your CC from anywhere online, you just kind of need to Google The Sims 4 CC. Lots of CC is free. Um, lots of CC is free. And so, to find your C your mods folder, you need to go to Documents. You need to open your file explorer. You need to go to Documents. You need to go to Electronic Arts. That's EA, Electronic Arts. The Sims 4. And then, if you scroll down, you will find your mods folder. This is your mods folder. Um, if you have things in folders, you only need, you need only one folder deep. One folder deep is enough. You don't need to do two folders. Anything that is zipped, you need to unzip. So, and then these package files, you only need to put the Sims 4 package files in this folder. Make sure it is CC for the Sims 4 as well, okay? I'm actually going to leave that up. Um, all right, so let's get back to it, and then I'm going to add a swatch, and, okay, so layer, and we're going to scale this down, I'm going to copy that. Um, you know what, I'm just, 
we know the theory. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one and uh, export as a sunflower texture. Um, and just, if you use the same one, that's fine. Just make sure the other one isn't showing under it. And then just export it as, save it as something else. That way you'll have both of them. Uh, all right, and boom. So you see we still got our naranja one. We've got our sunflower one. Um, and then I think we want to add one more because we got snowy. It's, it's so random that I just picked these random ones, but, um, but yeah. This was a learning curve, so if I'm doing something wrong, understand I'm not trying to lead you down the wrong path. It's just, this is kind of how I learned to do it. Um, and so this is basically what I, this is why I'm like, I'm always a little hesitant to kind of release my CC, because I honestly kind of taught myself, not taught myself, but learning how to use Sunflower Love It. Oh, hi, Sunflower! <laughs> You'll be left in the dust unless we stuck by you. You're the Sunflower. I think your love will be too much. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Yes, my um, Addison Ming Sunflower that we are using for the gig. Um, fame. All right, and then we got a picture of Snowy. So those are our photos. Um, okay, I'm actually, I'm okay with these. So, what you want to do is, you don't, you want to rename it, um, I'm just calling Rando Photo, and I, I like to change the price, I'm going to make it $5, you know, it is crazy to me, dude, if there are some people that go and make their photos, like, expensive, um, but... I make them cheap because CC should be cheap, you know, especially when you try and do a little rags to riches. You want a little, you want a little photo in your house, you know? Um, so also you get a swatch thumbnail. So, you know, you would kind of behoove yourself. This is how like thumbnails get different swatches, right? So, you know, kind of, you know, make it easy on yourself. And the more of these colors you add, the more like it'll be layered like there'll be like you know how sometimes there'll be like three colors on a swat on a, like a swatch thing this is how you get those so if i were to use like let's say yellow and orange and black it's going to be orange and black in game like it's going to be like the top and the bottom of it um you know it just kind of lets people know what they're getting uh you see you see how he is here in one but if I get rid of the that, it's just the orange. This isn't, that's not orange enough. Especially in Rags Ridge. Yes, in Rags Ridge, you want a little art in your house. You don't want to pay, you know, $200 for a, paint, for a painting. So, um, but yeah, this is just kind of like clean. This is just cleaning up, really. Change your thumbnail swatches. Um, like, change your thumbnail swatches. Um, sure, why not? And then, so just change your thumbnail swatches. The mesh on this, you're gonna leave alone unless you truly wanna edit this, which you don't need to. Um, tags, uh, nope. We got orange, red, yellow, and white. So, actually, it's got a black frame on it, so apply to all swatches and you don't have to worry about it uh it is decoration for the wall it will show you that um and then there are functions what does it help with i like to come down to gameplay effects and add an environmental score of plus two that is just me personally um that way when you put it in game your sims will be like ah wabanoose it they'll like it right um, I'm gonna get rid of this description and rando photos of my sims. 
and not hard if you are making CC that you're going to share with people. I'm sorry, it's just a pet peeve of mine. Put your goddamn name at least somewhere so that you can tell where you got it from. I just think that makes it easier. Uh, and then we're going to hit a little save on that. And that is just a quick little tutorial on making some wall things. Um, you know, there, there's that. There's that. Uh, you know, and if we want to do it again, we would just do the same thing. That way you get your package. Um, it's honestly easy. So, let's do, let's do some photos I've got saved to my thing. Because... I've got some, um, let's go back here and let me open, hmm. yes to the name, uh, I hate forgetting where my CC came from, yes, can you show one more time how you cropped out uh, the clowning gimp, yes, I absolutely can, I absolutely can, let me find, just another quick picture that I kind of want to use. Um, and I'll show you. Give me one second. Hmm. Where are those pictures of that? Oh, okay. Okay, let me do like a bunch of these. Let's just do like four of these, why not? Um, I got these from an artist on Tumblr. They are Cashmere the Dwarf and she's fierce, okay? Um, but let me go ahead and open up that clown texture that I had. Um, da 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 da. Okay, let me open up the sad clown texture. And, okay, so basically you kind of want to punch in real quick. They are cute. So, you want to hit the plus on your keyboard. Wait, hold on. Yeah, you want to make sure you actually clicked on the photo. Hit the plus on your keyboard like twice, that way you can punch in. Come up here, uh, kind of the top left to the pass tool. It's right next to this big A, which is your text tool. You want to hit Pass tool, and then you just want to come here and you click, go to the next corner, and then click. And then go to the top, you click, other side, click, and then you come back down to here, click, and then you press Enter, and then Delete. Enter and delete. Okay, was that quick enough? Was that was that was that too fast? Um, and we kind of know the dimensions, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to scale my image down to 218 and 328. I'm gonna scale that. There we go. Okay, I was like, huh? Um, control C and then control V. Actually, that looks a little small. I'm gonna redo that. And look, sometimes this stuff is, uh, There's sometimes like trial and error, and I, you know, it is what it is. Uh, let me actually just. Um, 
And yep, yeah, we'll save it as Cashmere One. Her name is Cashmere. I want that and then I want that I'm gonna import my mesh. I, I mean, import my texture. Boom. You did it. Hey, what you over here making, Marty? If y'all are making CC right now, that makes me really feel. If Twitch doesn't start telling me when you're live, I may have to fight him. It is Veronica. Hello. Thank you uh, so much. I'm sorry I struggle with stuff like this. No, we're 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 doing this together. Okay, we're doing this together. So we're making you know some photos and stuff uh, together. So like I said, like these are hard to these are, it's hard to learn these and. Um, you're making custom pictures. I love that. See, because these are hard to learn. And when you are watching tutorials on YouTube, it that's gorgeous, isn't it? Isn't it? Now, I did talk to the artist who made these photos on Tumblr like a while ago. And I wanted to learn how to use Marvelous Designer to make CC. And I was like, I want to use like the stuff that you've drawn for Cashmere to make it. And she was like, you know, that's totally fine. Just, uh, I would love to see it. So I think, you know, if we just made photos of it, it would be, I don't know, maybe fine. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll just do like four of these and I'll release them to you. But, um, yeah, I just want to remove the swatch because I don't, I just want the black frame. But yeah, let's make a, let's make some more of, um, and yeah, so we're just kind of going to throw these together. Um, oh, are we putting their name in the description? Uh, yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And to, to refer you back to the artist. And that's kind of what I was going to do with the other pictures that I uh, couldn't release. But we're going to be putting the name of the artist. Uh, I think their name is The Very Worst Thing. The Very Worst Thing .com. Um, Um, and this is the laziest way to do it. Just gotta put it right on top. If you want to be like real lazy about it, listen, ain't nothing wrong with that. And then just export it as. That way you'll have all of them together. Uh, but yeah, you can use the same one. Just put it on top and just import that bad boy. Um, and I'm gonna add this swatch. And... Now, one thing, if you don't know about Cashmere, is that she's everything, okay? Um, I've been following this artist for a long time, and so they're very, very good at what they do. Um, and you want to scale it down, and then just copy it on over, and then export it. So... Sometimes I'm just flying through it, uh, but yeah, so that's how we do that, and import, and then I'm going to add one more swatch, and we're going to do this one last one of the doll, okay? I've got a bunch of pictures to pick up. Thanks for sharing this. I would have never uh, sat and watched a YouTube vid from a random person to learn this. Really, you can also ask questions. Uh, you also can't ask questions to YouTube. It that's true, that's true. And I'm glad you guys are like trying, you know, making your own little photos and asking questions. That makes me feel good, even if you're just like writing stuff down. Like I'm gonna do that later. Um, you know, I don't want to like bore you guys, so that's why I'm like not, you know. So I'll definitely, but we can definitely do a, a CC stream every now and again. Um, you know, we can even go CC shopping at some point. Um, because, you know, it's, it's, but the thing is, is that with a random person on YouTube, like I say, I use three different tutorials to learn how to make pictures. And then like, I learned how to make one. I was like, this is easy. And then when I made poses in like animations, I had three different, because one person will explain something real good. And then another person will explain something completely different, real good. And then another person will explain something else completely uh, real good. And so you put them all together, you get a great tutorial. So it's hard to learn with other people because they're, you know, they're just clicking and they're going and stuff. And having to watch so many YouTube videos for school has created a negative feeling when watching YouTube now. It's like, oh, reap them, really? You know, that's fair, though. That's fair. That's fair. Because when you do something a lot, and then it becomes, like, for a specific purpose, 
it gets on your nerve. At a job one time where customers used to have my personal phone number and could call me, it truly for like, like two or three years, I actually hated answering my phone. Which is like, why I'm actually still a little bad about like, getting to my phone and like messages and stuff because I honestly hated it. Like, like when I see a number that calls me that I don't know, I don't answer it. Leave a voicemail. I personally don't believe any customer should ever have your phone number. That's my personal philosophy. Most business people do not agree with me. But, all right. So, we've got our little, our little photos here. Uh, let's go ahead and, like, tag them out. What colors do we use? we got some black in here. A little white. Uh, some pinks. Some white. Maybe a little blue. We can say blue. Sure, why not? And some green because it's got green on the net. And then I like to add my gameplay effects, you know. And you can do so much here. You can decrease, it can increase your bills. You can decrease your bills. I'm assuming those came with Eco Living. But um, Sims 4 Studios should have been updated for every pack through like Decor, 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 Decor to the max. Is that a sword through the bun? Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's a sword through the bun. Uh, can you show how to save it again after the getting the image done? Um, uh, in in GIMP, I agree with that. Giving customers my personal phone number makes me feel icky. I I hate it, and I personally don't feel like as a customer you should want someone. Like, and that's the thing. My brother has a job where customers have his phone number. He's like, people will call you at 1 a.m. And I'm like, yeah, they will. Yeah, they will. I used to work in a call center, so I can't imagine any of them having my real number. Okay, so in GIMP, you want to to save. You want to go down to export as. Now you need you need like an extension. So like a GIMP uh, PNG export. I can't remember what it was called, but make sure you are not saving it because when you save it as, it will save it as an XCF file. You want to save it as a PNG. So you don't go to save as. You go down to export. You want to go down to export and export it as, and that'll save it as a PNG, okay? And if you don't have that, you might need a, a GIMP uh, PNG exporter, like Google it, and then you'll um, you'll get that because that is an extension that you need. Um, and then we get all of our pictures, and yeah. So there we go. And now go back to the catalog. You know. Um, So, yeah, but she has a sword through a, a lot of Cashmere's pictures. The art is the very worst thing on Tumblr. It's like her little series is Cashmere is a fashion designer dwarf. And dwarves are kind of like, you know, they, they're they like regular dwarves. But they all of them have beards. So even the women. Um, and so that's why Cashmere is sporting this lovely beard. But, um, you know, a lot of, you know, dwarves are minors by like mythos. And so they're minors. And so, you know, she's got all these jewels and they're excellent smiths. So, you know, they make a lot of swords and stuff. So it's very cashmere. Um, uh, and so the very worst thing dot. Um, I'm going to put credit to the artist. The very worst thing not Tumblr.com. Always, so, I mean, credit your art. And if the artist says no when you ask them, respect their wishes. Actually typing that in to make sure yes so it is the very worst thing not um you know you never just want to steal from an artist especially artists of color or queer artists and things like that so um just make sure you are crediting back to the artist and so i just looked it up that is actually the page the very worst thing not um we're going to i like to set all mine at five dollars you don't have to do it everybody's different but um and yeah we're going to save so we go ahead and save that bad boy. Um, 
And so the next thing to do is kind of test it out. Let's test it out in game. So I'm gonna close that. Okay. And that's not what I meant to do. And yeah, okay, everything's saved, right? Um Alright, so let me put it in my um let me actually put these in my mods folder. Cause again, I don't put them in my mods folder when I start out, but when you start making your CC, put it in your mods folder. Um I know it's I know it's like do as I say and not as I do, but um new stuff. I like I have a new stuff. <laughs> if you don't have a new stuff file folder in your in your in your mod folder, this is a quick little side note. When you download new CC, put it in in a make a new stuff folder. You know, new folder created. It is that way, like, if you open your game and you notice, like, hmm, seems glitchy. Hmm, this CC, is like, something here seems off. Or you're getting last exceptions. It might be the new CC. Now you don't want to just throw it out there into your folders, not know where to go find it. Put it in a new stuff folder. Help yourself out. Um, so, let me go ahead and put this into my folder. So the tutorial picks, I'm gonna put that there. And then, what did I call the other one? More? Yep. Uh, da -da 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 -da. There it goes, okay, package. It would've been easier if I just put it. Uh, I need to do that. Organize your mods folder. Yeah, like definitely, Lacey. Hi, Lacey. Um, definitely. So, all right, cool. So you would put it in both mods and new stuff folder. Well, my new stuff folder is in my mods folder. So my mods folder is, let me, let me get to it. So uh, my game has been so glitchy lately. I'm ready to delete everything. I understand. Cause honestly, I just like to play my game. And sometimes when I feel like CC gets, the, CC should always help your game. And when it kind of gets in the way, it makes it glitchy. You're like, Ooh, no, you're fine. You're fine. Reap them, ask, ask questions. Uh, electronic Arts, Sims 4, Mods, and then in my Mods folder, I have a new stuff folder. So in my Mods folder, I have a new stuff folder. And stuff that I, that works, that I need to, I know all this stuff is good, so I can just honestly put it in new, in, in other folders. I really hope I did this right. I'm so nervous you get it right. You're the, don't be nervous. Okay, um, let's get busy, go. All right, so let's go ahead, and the game will know to pull stuff from the new stuff folder. As long as it's in your mods folder in one folder deep, yes. As long as it's in your mods folder in one folder deep. Don't put it more than two folders. Like, don't put it inside mods, new folder, and then, like, other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, just put it in your new stuff folder. But yeah, it reads everything. And I'll show you when we open up the game, we will have uh, the, we will have our CC there waiting for us. So, um, all right. Yeah, but the game does not do it. it. It does do that. Now you can just put it in there, in your mods folder if you want to. But I like to have a new stuff folder and it, it, it will. Um, and if you don't see it, then you have it too deep in folders. You have it too deep in folders. But yeah, let me go ahead and open the game. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. Let this game open, and I'm going to be right back.
for me. Time that you like, gonna give you my heart to break. Angel eyes, tell me lies, gonna give you my heart to break. I wanna look at you, I'm powerless. I feel my body saying yes. Where's my self control? Oh. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. So cool. I'm glad you. I'm glad you guys think so. I'm glad you guys are getting something out of this. Um, let's go ahead and load into a household and then test our pictures out. Martia, if you feel like something didn't come out right, let me know. We'll try and work through it. Okay, and then, so we've done illuminated wall signs, we've done pictures, and then I think we're gonna do poses, and then we'll do community tours. It doesn't take long, I mean, I've been live for about two and a half hours, so. But I mean, in the meantime, we've made eight pictures and a whole ass illuminated wall sign, so. Um, We've kind of made nine pieces of CC. Hello! How you doing? Welcome on in. Okay. Who's caught up on Drag Race? Glitter Freak! Glitter Freak. Ooh, that makes... Okay, because I found an infant pose. Redhead Sims is making them um, for Blender. I found infant Blender rigs to make poses with. nice. So, so are we playing The Sims today? I guess we're going to be playing... We're doing... Yeah, we're doing like... We're not like getting into gameplay, 
but we're we're touring builds. We're touring you guys as builds. Maybe some of you guys as Sims, and um, I will be. It works. Yes, you did it, <laughs> brother. You would have to do the next tour challenge. That's no problem, Glitter. That is no problem. Good job, friend. Do you love? It's cute having your own CC in the game, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just love it. When you like pull, you're like, I made that. I made that. That is honestly nice to have. Like it just is. It just, it is very nice to have. Yes, you are welcome. I love. I'm so glad you love it. That yay. When you have your own CC in the game, you're like, oh, yes, I did make that. I did. Now I can have my own custom art. Yes, you guys can. Uh, it's been so hectic. Oh, I understand. Glitter. I understand. Got stuff going on, man. You got stuff going on. I was like, whatever. Oh, um, no. Look. I've been thinking about merging my CC, but I feel like I don't have enough of it to merge. Now, if you have a lot of CC and you feel like your game is getting a little glitchy, where it used to be buttery smooth, merge your CC. With Sims 4 Studio, I can go over that real quick, but it's not hard. You just got to make sure all your packages make it, because sometimes they don't merge like they're supposed to. You've been lurking, but I'm proud of you guys. Kira! Hi, Kira. How are you, friend? Welcome on in. Shopping. Oh, you've been shopping. Look, shopping in the book. You enjoying the lesson? Oh, nice. Thank you. All right. All right, I was about to say, come on now. Definitely will be re-watching. Thanks again, love. Absolutely, Harley, this was so helpful. I'm glad to hear it. I am so glad to hear it. All right, so we are here. Um, all right, and then we're going to open build mode. Expect a lag, just because build mode be laggy, baby. But um, <laughs> we'll go ahead and open my build mode and then we will hunt for our pictorials For a CC merge, maybe I don't know. I'll just be adding stuff. Um, okay, and there they go. Oh, they look all right. They, I thought they were gonna look trash. I ain't gonna lie to you. I just thought they were gonna look assy ass out here. But this is kind of popping ten. Okay, uh, you got a Chanel keychain today. So, ooh, a Chanel keychain. Okay, okay, see, these these kind of do, this, this pops off, this pops off, I forgot to do a bill for you, you forgot to do a bill, beauty, it's okay, I don't, it's okay, but, but no, that's totally fine, that is totally fine, um, I understand. Not ass here, seahorse. Thank you for the follow, ass here, seahorse. I don't know why my uh, sound alerts aren't working. Oh, there we go. Ass here, seahorse. Thank you for the follow. I will make so many builds and sims for you to make it up. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> 
it is totally okay. I didn't mean to put that there. Um, but no, that's that's totally fine. It's totally fine. We'll see. We'll look on the gallery, see what we got. And if we don't have a lot, then we can do a little gameplay today. But so we got our pictures in game that we just made. Okay, I don't have move objects on. Is that why? These pictures were so huge, they're probably not going to look super great. But um, the Casper photos look great. The smaller the photo, the better it looks. I just had these set way too big. So they look they look okay. They look okay. I probably won't be using these. But like this looks all right. It wasn't as big as the other ones. But it looks all right, actually, from a distance. But yeah, like kind of the smaller the photo, it doesn't lose quality when it's shrunk down. So you see that. But this is all right, actually. <laughs> um, can I put your daughter right here? That's cute. Uh, actually, this is a bit okay. So. I think I'm giving myself a hard time on these, but they don't actually look bad. These, especially when they're just like, you know, photos just to kind of have in your house. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the photos. You, you know, we made some photos. Um, I do love the way this one came out though. I think this one came out super nice. I think it came out super nice. Um, So, and then you can kind of see how our custom swatches, you know, worked out. And then if you hover over it, credit to the artist, the very worst thing .com. You know, you want to add your and, uh, random photo to my Sims, yada, yada, yada. See, there you go. Environment one. See, it adds a nice little, ooh, I like this place. A little ooh la la to the game, if you will. So, yeah, there it is. Um, so, we've made some custom photos. And we have made our wall lights. Yeah, we've done all right for ourselves today. So that is the basis of, you know, making some things for yourself. That is the basis of making some, um, making some, uh, little bitty basis, basic CC. So you have your own custom art in your game and stuff like that. Um, I am in love with that. Okay, so... Um, we're still gonna make poses, but I want to see what has been uploaded to the gallery. Oh uh, wait, you're Jenny, Jenny, my dear. What can I say? You make me feel oh so special. How you doing, Jen? Welcome on in. Um, thank you. You're awesome. I appreciate that. Uh, ooh. Okay. Kira, I see. Kira, so, so sweet. Uh, the old mill. Okay. 413. I see what y'all got up here. I see what y'all got up here. Um, okay. Oh, shades closed. Somebody, oh, for the Larry challenge. Y'all are making, y'all are making your Larrys. Come on with your Larry. Okay. Y'all, that's, thank you, Shades. Thank you, Shades, if you're lurking, if you're here. Come, listen, we want to have a Larry challenge, and I'm just, we're, we're going to do the Larry challenge, okay? Uh, where is Larry now? Larry decided to hang up his career as a child pop star. It was not the spotlight that he wanted to be in. Mr. Bell became a bodybuilder competing all around the world. Even, <laughs> even though he was not a singer anymore, people would still recognize him as a child star until he won the uh, biggest bodybuilding comp competition, the Simlympia. Thank you. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. This is wonderful. I love this. I love this. I still have to do my Larry. We got, listen, the Larry's, we're going to, the Larry's will be due at a later date. But look at Larry. This is amazing. I love this. Thank you, Shades. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is fun. I still have to make my Larry, too. I'm making a Larry for the next tour. Yes. Yes, make your Larry for the next tour. Now, we have two up here. We can just kind of do two, two tours today. 
that'll be fine with me. But I love, ooh, is this a Yaz's Young's? Ooh. Oh, this is nice. Oh, girl, we're about to get into this. Okay, we're gonna have to get into that. We're gonna do, but make you Larry's, folks. Let's look at Larry. I'm gonna say this to my library. Larry is out. Larry said, I'm not gonna be doing this anymore. I'm excited for the Larry competition. This is, this is fun. Aw. And then there's this guy. Thanks, Jim. Uh, let me go ahead and you can find him somewhere chilling and writing jokes. He's looking to move into an apartment soon because he's getting kicked out uh, for spray painting failure. It's progress on his bedroom wall. <laughs> I love this. But yes, make your Larrys. Give them a backstory. Give them some traits. Um, I I adore that, actually. That is so funny. And then we got an old Mill Hill. Uh, this is really nice. Heavily based on St. Catherine's Court, lightly inspired by the haunting of Bly Manor, got motivation from uh, James Turner's country estate build, uh, has nine bedrooms, of which one is a nursery, another is a toddler room, has a small chapel out front, can be easily converted for weddings, a wedding arch, oh my god. Uh, in the garden, there's also room for parties, a greenhouse, and a small graveyard. Oh, wow, okay. What lot is this? Is this... This is amazing. Okay, cool. So, definitely, guys, if you have anything that you want to put up to the gal on the gallery, upload it to this hashtag here, Scotty Yaddy Yaddy, and we will get into it. You guys have sent me some wonderful sims in the past, so I'm excited for that. Okay, let's do a quick pose making tutorial. This is going to be fun. Okay, so. And then let's exit this game. Uh, yeah, all right, cool. So, now, poses. Poses aren't hard. They're not hard. Um, there's just, it's mostly about being able to put what you envision out there. Um, so, for poses, you're going to need the same thing. You're going to need Blender and Sims 4 Studio. That's really all you need. That's really all you need. Blender and Sims 4 Studio. Um, I have personally a lot of Blender rigs because I've been making pose packs for my personal. Uh, just learning how to make them and then like, you know, personal pose packs that I just wanted for uh, my own gameplay and stuff like that. So, I am going to get my, um, oh, I closed Sims 4 Studio. Let me get it open again, and then I'll show ya. But it's, 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 it's truly simple. It's so simple. Um, my build is so simple in comparison. No, it's fine. Like, that's the thing. Everything has a different flavor. Everything has a different flavor. You know, sometimes you need a nine-bedroom manor, and sometimes you need a coffee shop. Both of them are good as long as it's, it's cute, right? It looks cute. So that it's not simple at all. It's just as complex, it's just smaller. Got the Um. Rain on me. All right, this game is taking forever to close. I kind of want to close it before I start opening a whole bunch of other stuff on my computer. Just to keep the latency down, I don't want to drop frames. Like I said, again, I think I probably need to merge my CC. It still don't, actually, because I just don't feel like I have enough of it to do all that merging. Okay, and... Okay. So, what you're going to need to do this is you are going to need Sims 4 Studio. Now, let's take a second and kind of look at this, right? 
because I was so curious what Override did when I first started. So you're basically going to choose Clip Pack. So you got under animation, you got Clip Pack, and you have Override. If you select Override and click animation, it is going to bring up every animation pose in the game. So now this is truly Hunt and Peck. This is simply learn by doing. It is not labeled, it is every animation in the game. So you can kind of assume anything that is acting came with Get Famous. All of these are, you know, you see A acting, gig, dance, risky fail. So most, you'll notice most overrides, most animations do have a, a succeed and a fail option. Some animations are like four in one, like, I learned that by trying to override the snuggle thing. Um, and, alright, so all of these are acting. Let's say you wanted to... Hmm. Let's say you wanted to... What's something to... Well, let's learn how to read these first, right? So, any animation you make can be uploaded as an override. Any animation you make can be uploaded as an override. It depends on what you want to override. So A, these little A and then the underscore, that means adult, basically. Now, anything from a teenager to an elder is on an adult rig. So, not a big deal, right? Um, now, once you kind of start getting into it, A2O, A2A, all of that, what does that mean? These are... Um, a to A, this is a two-person, those are two-person poses, two-person animations. So you got A to A, social, so, dining, NT, discuss food flavors, fail. So these are like when your Sims are at a restaurant and you're like, discuss the food flavors. Discuss the food uh, flavor, uh, seated, food flavors, seated, fail, succeed, complain about a dish. X and Y, that's like Sim 1, Sim 2. So it's like two Sims talking about food, Sim 1, two Sims talking about food, Sims 2. That's hard. Uh, when I send you my files for my tour, uh, you will have an unposted scene. <laughs> hey, listen, I love that. Okay, nice. We're going to have some custom CC. We're going to have some custom CC out here. So this is just about, this is how you... This is how you get the torque overrides and everything. Um, just so you can get, like again, this is very much trial by error. So it, let's say you wanna override a dance animation. Type in dance. Type in dance and see what you get. So now C means child. I think O is toddlers. Or yeah, I think O is toddler. Or P. P is toddler. I don't know what O is. Um, but yeah, all of this is very much, you know, so we got the workout videos, dance, sidestep, fail, succeed, arm, uh, pump arms, like the arm pump, and things like that. So if you want to override a dance, um... If you don't know, all of the dances in the game are called something different. Um, so you can have like an arm swing, groove, groove snap, like all, like the groove snap is when your sim is kind of doing that little bob and a snap, and then they kind of do a little, I'm making noises, but um, <laughs> yeah, so you just kind of got to figure it out. You kind of have to figure it out. Um, and if you want to do like how people do trade overrides, just type in trait and then it'll tell active, adventurous, animal enthusiast. And then you can just kind of upload your own rig into that. So we're going to start a little simpler though. We're going to do a clip pack. So we're going to come here, animation is going to ask us to create our Sims 4 package. Um, now I won't do it in original decor here. I'm going to do it in poses that I made. Um, that's another one I made, uh, and then you can append in objects from the game 
to pose with them. Now, let's just start simple. Um, let's just do simple poses. And Annie's. Okay? So, I'm going to hit save. Now, it's going to take you again to this. It's not going to have like a picture of anything up. Um, you'll be back in a minute, no problem. Um, so, you're going to name your pose pack. You can give a description. All of that will show up in game. Um, and then you have this. Don't let this a lot of information freak you out. So, I'm just going to call it a simple pose pack. Um, simple tutorial. I know it's tutorial, but I don't know why that vocal stem is still there. Simple tutorial poses. And um, for your, you can, like a lot of people import pictures of their rigs or of their sims doing this. Um, this is what's going to show up in game. Like it's going to show up in game as you having, a, um, it's going to show up in game as you having, you know, a picture there. Uh, so I kind of upload that. That lets me know those are my poses. Um, let's just call this pose one. I don't exactly know what we're doing just yet, but so to get your rig for your poses, you got all these. You got an adult female, an adult male. You have child, toddler, puppy, small dog, a large dog, kitten, cat, mermaid, merman. Okay, those are different. And a fox. I didn't know there were foxes. Okay, I haven't looked at it. I, haven't, I don't think I've done this since. Uh, I haven't. I haven't uploaded my own, uh, exported my own rigs since I started. So, because I've got some of them saved. So I didn't know you could do foxes, but apparently you can do some poses with some foxes. Weird. All right, so you're gonna pick one. You're gonna pick one. Let's do. Let's do adult. Let's just do an adult male. Why not? And then we are going to export. Hold on, wait. Yeah, blank clip. Export. Um, and then you are going to save this. Uh, where you save your blender rigs okay so if you already had your blender rig saved somewhere this is where you want to save it so save this when you export just a, a fresh blank uh, thing um, and if you want to do couple poses you need to export two of the rigs so let's just call this man two because I already have a man one um, all right. All right. And so what we have it in here. Um, man two, I want to double click that. It's going to open up Blender for us. Okay. And here we are with our rig. All right. Brass text. Here's how you figure this out, right? Um, there is all these little points here. You see this point here, this point here. There are two here. If you get into it, you can see there are two points here. If you click on this down here, it'll tell you what it is. So rig, B, spine. Spine, that's the pelvis. This is the right thigh. That is the left thigh. It'll tell you what part you're moving. If you want to move your whole entire rig, you need it on root bind. Root bind is the absolute center of your whole person. So if you want it up, you want it down, root bind is, is it. Because if you try to move this up, but you like, let's say you're on the spine, you're going to elongate your sim. Um, and that's how people shorten their sims. Like if you want to create a pose where your sim is short, you kind of want to do it, you know, like realistically. You want to make it look, you know, you want to make it look like, you know, a little bit, you know, and then you got like kind of a shorter sim and then you kind of put it on a root bind and then move him down towards the ground and now he's short. Okay. Um, I'm going to... <laughs> delete all that um 
So, what do we want to do? I don't know, but let's try. Okay, so you're going to click on a point, right? And to click on a point, I'm not right clicking, I'm left clicking. Let me make that certain again. Left click to select. And then R will give you, like, it'll give you up and down rotation of things. Um, which makes it a little easier just like I usually come in and I put the arms down because then I'm like, okay I know what I'm gonna do um, So you want to right click on everything uh, hmm. I, I like Don't even really know what uh, I don't even really know what I want to do here um, But okay, so R one time you click R gets everything up if you click, if you double click, oh wait, hold on. If you select your point and double click R, you will be able to freely rotate this arm as you see fit. Now, you kind of want to look at your own self when you're doing this. Like, you know, if you want to move the arm up and then understand like the limitations of an actual human body and what it can and can't do and how it does move. Like if you want an arm to go up, like you know you don't you wouldn't want something like that right so kind of wanna you know you want to do something like i don't know you want to make sure it looks right um so let's do herm <laughs> I didn't think about what I wanted to do here. <laughs> um, and see, if you need like a pregnant sim rig, you actually have to get those offline and then upload them. So like, just get them offline, save them as your blender rig, do your poses and then put them in game. Um, so, all right, I, let's, 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 let's X something out here. Um, And I'm going to move his elbow, maybe. I'm a ten out of ten. Even the devil loves me. I'm living in luxury. But I guess I'm just not. I know that I'm rich, baby. I walk more. Okay, gotta do mom stuff. Hopefully, I'll be back for tours. If not, be gentle. Aw, thank you, Kira. Absolutely. Thank you. You as well, friend. Um, okay. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to change it. <laughs> don't know what that was. Um, come on. Just let us adore you. All right, so you kind of want, in this part is, you got your rig in, you kind of, you like to circle around it, you want to hold your mouse wheel. So you want to press down on your like scroll wheel and you kind of scroll around it. Uh, if you want to, if you want to move without your sim moving, press shift and hold down your mouse wheel and that way you can kind of get around a little bit differently like that. Uh, to scroll in and out use your mouse wheel um, So that's kind of how you navigate around and then you want to left click to select your points And then R is to move things All right, and so once you um, You know what let's do something simple Let's blow a kiss. All right, let me just get your hands where I kind of want them.
there is still a build I would have uh, like you to see. Do you have a build to a redeem? I don't have a build to a redeem. I don't have a build to a redeem. Um, at least not yet. I can add one though. punch in here now uh hand in the chest yes uh now this is going to be a little confusing because there are a lot of points on the face i always kind of like to get towards the side to see them best but again look at the bottom here so this is going to be the right upper lip this is the uh the, the upper lip and then this is the left upper lip so there are three points on the top and bottom lip so basically there are six points on the lip. So if you select it, you can kind of see which one it is. Uh, this is the whole mouth. And then this is the upper jaw. If you click again, because some of these points are on the same one, it is the lower jaw. And you can kind of like, if you pull that down, you will open the mouth. Um, I don't think for this pose we actually need the mouth open. And um, and if you hit select and hold select, you can select multiple points at the same time. So I'm going to I'm gonna select all three of those points, and I'm kind of going to. So we're kind of going to put the lift out like that. Um, all right. Um, <laughs> I'm over here like doing it on myself, trying to see how it works, see how it would look. I'm Serena Williams. You watch me live on TV. Oh. Um, girl from that alien movie you watch on demand. Our worlds have been brought together thanks to direct TV stream. Why are you whispering? Because the alien will hear us. Maybe let the alien know you can get Now, one thing you want to be aware of when making poses is, and if you're making poses, you probably do use it. If you use CC, CC is kind of going to come off of your sim a little bit. So, like, when you are making your sims touch, make sure, like, kind of understand what you're making your poses for. Um, because if you are using a sim that like has a CC jacket on. You don't want the poses that you make to like go through the jacket. You know what I'm saying? So you want to be aware. And then, you know, sometimes the poses, they're not exactly like super easy to work around with the CC. Um, And then there are all these points. There are like three points on every finger. You just want to make sure you are... You want to make sure the fingers and hands are in a natural position. Like bend to the fingers. Uh, 
Um, it's the O pose. I'm gonna do them like blowing a kiss. I think I'm gonna do them like blowing a kiss. Okay, so with the eyes, you want to keep clicking until you get eye. Because you're going to try and turn the eye. Okay, and now this part I always kind of... I usually forget how to do this. Um, no, it's not that. What is it? Where's individual origins? Ah, okay, you know what? Let me just do each one individually there because I can't find what I'm looking for down here. And it usually presents itself pivot center for net. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Individual origins. And then you should be able to like move the eyes together. The eyes took me a while to kind of figure out. There, wait. See, the right ones give me what I need. Maybe I don't need to move them together. Alright, so you kind of want the eye to be able to go down a little bit. Maybe we're we'll looking down a little bit. Alright, just make sure they match up because you don't want your sim to be cockeyed. Go ahead and lurk. All right. So now let's make it kind of look a little natural here because your sim is just standing here. Um, I'm actually going to bend his knees a little bit. Um, now this is going to be You need to bend the knee. And then you go to root bind and you kind of want to. And just make sure the feet end up flat. And then you'll notice your sim is kind of floating now because you had them a little higher. Um, you want to make sure their feet are just a little bit above that red line. Okay, and Loki, hey, hey, how you doing? We are making some little poses. See how that looks weird? You see how it looks weird? So we're gonna have to. Alright. Glitter in the sky, glitter in my eye. Alright, we're kinda of gonna pull it up like that. So his knees are just a little bent. Alright. So doing good how are you? it's stream's been good stream's been good we made a couple little
pictures, we made some wall signs, we're just doing some little beginning CC, and then after we're done making this pose or animation, whatever we're making, we're going to um, do a, some community tours here. So, now, this is kind of what I want. You know, just a nice little simple, we're not going to be doing too much, we're just going to be blowing a little kiss. So, I am just going to make an animation, um, because if you wanted to make a pose, this would be it. This would be it. So, one thing is, you always want to, when you are saving this pose, you want to select a part of the rig you will never, ever actually move. Which is the, you see down here, cast glasses. B, cast glasses. This is a part on the rig, high passionate for life, this is the part of the rig you never move. So, you want to click there, and then you want to hit Control I, that highlights every point on your sim, and then, well, on the rig, and then you hit I, and then you scroll down to Lock Rod. Boom. That's your pose. That is your pose. So, now one thing we can do for this pose is we can save that as, you don't want to save over the man to blend because then that's going to resave that regular male rig as something else. So, I'm going to save it as blowing kiss. One. So, blowing kiss one. How about that? And then we're going to save as a blender file. And that's your pose. That's your pose. Um, now you can unselect everything. And to make an animation, you need to do this thing here where, where it says end, put it on, you can honestly put it on anything, just put it on 200. So that way it'll actually play out. Um, these are the seconds it's animated on. So, I'm going to click 60, and that's going to pull us out to here, right? And that kind of gives us the liberty to go ahead and change our pose out. So, let's start re-animating. Um, I'm going to do this on first, so I'm going to take this out a little bit like this. Maybe move the hands out, maybe move the thumb a little bit closer. Um, come on, let's get physical. And Okay, and then make sure you kind of understand what the human body is doing. We're going to want to move this at the shoulder a little bit. And then this arm, same thing. We're going to move that out a little bit. Um, And it might take a second for you to get the hands right. And let's see. Hey, uh, Minoska, uh, 22 Warrell. Hi, thank you for the follow. Sorry, I don't have my sound alerts on this, uh, on this scene. That's my fault. Yeah, I don't know why I'm pulling the elbows in like this. I don't actually need to.
There we go. Uh, I am just going to kind of make that like that. And... Um, everything is not the same. Feels like all the lives have changed. Yeah, let's kind of make this. Keep the lip the way it is, but I am going to move the eye. Just a little bit up. Um, and keep the lip like it is just a little bit. Just a little bit for right now, but I am going to have the knees unbend here and you know you'll kind of learn more shaping and stuff by like doing this stuff by like you know paying attention to detail like you know if this comes up then the foot needs to bend You know, you want to take your time. Okay. See, now we see how it's now because we're lengthening the leg again. It is, uh, we're going down into the floor a little bit. We're definitely going to make sure we take care of that. Um, and then let's pull our leg back just a little bit. It's epic stuff, crusted pan stuffed with cheese. Um, ingredients better all right, and then we're going to click on root bind, pull that up. Welcome to a new way to earn your degree. Welcome to a school that puts your needs at the top of its list. All right. Welcome to you know, the other day I was listening to some song, and it was a country song, and it just, this is why I like country sometimes. It just, it, it seemed really sweet. Because I was like, wait, what's the message of this song? Because it was like, what did they say? I hope, basically it was like, you know, all these nice things. I hope you and her have a great time. And I hope, you know, by the end of your drive, you know she's the one. And all this. And then they said, and then at the end of the, and then I hope she cheats. Like you did on me. That was, that was like, oh, that's spicy. I love this. Alright, so I am Hold on, wait Sometimes I ain't even think of letting go Alright, so this is the left side of the mouth To do a smile I like to pull it up a little bit Tattoo on my mind Leaving sometimes I ain't even think of letting go Not even sometimes And then control I I Lock right Now we have a little bit of an animation going So If we take that off and then hit play Just watch it play I don't like it. 
Um, <laughs> Country always has a twist. Lost my wife, my dog. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Think I need it sometime. I ain't even think I let it go. It reminds me of a song by Rascal Flats. I have no idea who sings it, but. Okay, so we're like looking down a little bit and kind of like look up. Stretch it to a slight smile. Alright, so we did the last one on 60. I think 60 gives us enough time to really, you know, see what the animation does. I should have had them dipping down into like their knees bending but it's fine this is just a tutorial poses doesn't have to be perfect and i'm gonna do the next one on 120. oh i'm pressing t i was like why is that happening Run. Sometimes I need to think of letting go. Okay, and control I, I, lock right. And then you got yourself a real animation going. And then you just hit play. It's weird he's not blinking, and that's probably a thing. <laughs> we probably... But yeah, that's an animation. It doesn't need to be perfect. So, anytime you see a custom animation in a in a in a in a, in a mod or something. Just understand that Mod Baker cr uh, created it. You know, it takes a, it takes a while. I'm kind of flying through this, but it takes a while to actually like because for natural movements to be made, things need to be at different intervals. Um, you know, things need to be at different intervals. There, there need, there's a lot that goes into it. So it's you know. But that's that's the basis. That's the basis. So why don't you say
Um, so you want to make sure when you're putting it in. Um, hold on, let me make sure I lock this down. You want to make sure your things are highlighted. Then you save this. Um, and I'm just gonna blowing kiss in a main shirt. Okay, so come back to Sims 4 Studio. Let's see, let's import blowing kiss one. The more I learn, the more I understand how long it takes for it to. Yes! Honestly, when you realize there needs to be animators and, and, and things of that nature, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like 3D modeling, making stuff, making it functional, you know, you gotta give, like, the more you learn about CC, the more you kind of have to give the Sims team their, like, because you're just like, ooh, okay, you gotta make this for the game. That's, that, was, that was difficult. So, um, I'm gonna open that. And that's going to be pose one, uh, static pose of blowing a kiss, sure. And then you want to add now, and then we're just going to import that other rig we did. So we saved the blowing kiss animation. We're going to open that one. And yeah, now if you get like a little little pop up, it's like that didn't work right. Something you know, it says something. Make sure you come back and you click your glasses and you control I, save it, and then put it back in. Put it back in. That should work. Um, and then you want to name it. Um, blowing kiss animation. Uh, and then a description in animation of blowing a blowing a kiss alright um, and now you can upload icons like pictures of what that pose actually looks like I am not going to do that here um, and if you need to know the dimensions of doing that like you can go in blender take a, take like a screenshot on your computer and then um, like just photo edit it down to the actual dimensions I forget what I think it's 64 by, by 64 whatever dimensions you need for it to put it as an icon. I'll have to remember that. Um, and now you basically have a little bit of pose pack. You know, you got a little, little little pose pack. So this is like, you know, if you've got some storytelling things or some photos you want to take for your game, but nothing that really works too well, you kind of want to do this. Now, um, I'm going to get a little bit I'm gonna do it at a different time. I think I want to create some like infant, like on a look a baby on like a baby mat poses. Um, and I think I'm going to do those, but it, it requires me downloading a rig by Redhead Sims, and that's that's this is beginner CC. We'll have another CC stream at some point where we will update. <laughs> <laughs> that and we'll do a little bit more of the difficult stuff <laughs> but so far this is just the beginner stuff for you guys Lost in a fall. okay I'm gonna go ahead and save that and um, I'm gonna do this I can see poses that I made. Um, this is that, and I need to open up another one. I need to put this in my mods folder. Question: Will this be posted on YouTube? I can post this on YouTube. This stream, I will absolutely post this on YouTube for you. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll do that. No, you know what? It'll be up by tomorrow evening. How about that? I will definitely put this on YouTube for you. Um, and then, where am I going? Okay, I want to open my mods folder. See, I was making some custom to sitting on the desk one. I'll show you that. It's my, um, it's an animation I was making because um, if you're following the, the Peaches story, Peaches went and got faculty involved because she's Peaches about what's going on at the nursing at the vet, veterinarian school and so I got like a little pose of peaches feeling super like 
you know, Peach is feeling super, you know, important sitting on a desk. Yeah, I got, I like want to make a little, I don't want to do a machinima, but you know what? I'll say this. Remember when Heartbeat was making Sim Live in Color, but it wasn't just like the machinima totally. She was doing a Let's Play and, or they, they were doing a Let's Play. I don't know their pronouns. Peaches is, uh, <laughs> it's a goody goody at school. Yes, she is. She went and got the faculty involved. So, um, so the next episode, I want them having a meeting where the teacher is talking to Peaches and sitting on the desk and I made like a little pose animation for it. Um, and I want to do like, remember, like I love Heartbeats when, and D Sims was kind of doing it with that Sylvia. I stand that girl. Um, where you have like a machinima clip in the beginning, you have a let's play, a little machinima clip in the middle, let's play, and then like a machinima clip at the end. I kind of like that style of like let's play when people do it on YouTube. It's actually pretty fun. She was talking about the girls are lazy. Uh, they eat until. <laughs> Yes, yes, she did. The girls don't do nothing. They stand around and talk all day. You know, I just wanted to see what you wanted me to do about this. Um, so I'm gonna drop this into my uh, mod folder. Simple like that. Um, and that's the package file for that one. I don't know if I'm done with it yet, but all right. And that's pretty dope. So. Actually, let me open that one. Um, I got you by my side, 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 side. I see side. someone has you sprung. Yeah, it's Spectrum. With their super fast internet speeds, no data caps, and free modem, I got everything I need by my side. Is that is this right? it? Yeah. Yes, it is. Okay. Honestly, thank you so much for doing this, Scotty. I've been trying to learn for months how to do this, but I kept getting frustrated and discouraged. But I don't know how to do it. I'm so excited for what I can make. Martia, I'm glad for you. I'm so glad for you. Y'all want to see Peaches' as animation? So I pinned it in a desk, which is just like, you know, doing the wall light. We're not, the thing is that the desk doesn't, it's just so the rig knows what to do. Welcome back, Uni. So um, this is Peaches' as animation. She's just sitting here. I didn't use peaches, but you know, she'll be, she'll be doing this. <laughs> you know, she's just sitting here looking. It's just real quiet. You know, she's being quiet. She's just watching, watching the rest of the girls from the teacher's desk. Y'all in trouble. <laughs> That's just kind of how I see it going. So, um, and I did try it out. She, uh, I missed a bit. Yeah, we're, well, no, this isn't, this is uh, a rig already had set up, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> so Rick already had set up. Um, yeah, I kind of did. I did some. I did some things. I made this pose pack, but it didn't. I don't know. In game, it it kind of looks a little weird. Um, and I think I did something wrong with the rigs, but a nice little snuggling. So yeah, I kind of, I want to perfect this and then I'll release this kind of pose pack to you guys. I wanted to replace the snuggle animation um, that came with the game. Like, with, you know, when they're watching TV and stuff, I kind of wanted, I kind of wanted that. So, you know, just a nice, comfortable, these two, just hanging out. I think that'd be so, I think that'd be nice. Uh, this was fucking hard. Um, <laughs> it was hard. It was real hard. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's what you can kind of, uh, where can I find your poses? Um, honestly, I don't release a lot of my poses, but a lot of my poses are on my, um, if I do release my poses, uh, I'll put them here. Hold on, wait, let me put that up for you guys. I'm like super sensitive about my stuff sometimes. So I'm always like, if it doesn't work, if it don't work, I'm gonna be like, ah! So, um, you know, I'm always like, I always want it to be perfect, but uh, that is my assembler right there. Um, so you guys, I just dropped it in chat. 
Um, but yeah, you go and find my assembler. That is nothing there. That is not it. I lied to you. Um, hold on, wait. <laughs> Let, that was it. That was the wrong. Uh, did I spell it wrong? How did, how did that not work? Anyways. Yeah, I'm fine. Let's go ahead and cancel that. Um, hold on, let me, let me actually, I'm sorry, don't do that one. Uh, hold on, let me find my, let me find my tumbler. Oh, I did too, I did one too many hoo-ha-has, okay. Um, I spell my own. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I gave you the wrong one. But that's it. There it goes. I just actually copied it from the site. Um. So, yeah. Um. And it's just mostly full of stuff that I've been downloading. Um. But every now and again, I'll post my stuff here. So, I'm going to post the wall lights here. In the photos we came up with today and they'll be here and I think the next full challenge we're gonna do is post it here too um, every now and again I used to post gameplay photos I haven't I haven't been super active here but this is where I post CC this is where I post CC and I also have some of the CC that I have in my game here some of the hairs and stuff that I use some of the clothes so you know if you want to creep on some of the CC I have it's here um it's here. Uh. Okay, cool. I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. Thank you, Reaper. Absolutely. Absolutely. So the second link, Marty, is the one that works. Sorry about that. That was confusing, didn't need to be. Um, but I will start to put uh, my CC on this. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. I can't even believe I spelled my own. <laughs> I can't believe I spelled my own thing wrong. Um, anyways, so... For you good folks that have put your your builds under the hashtag, we want to we want to explore some of your builds today. Explore some of your builds today. So this is 